Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recipe for Disaster. Um, glad you all could join. Before we get started in the announcements, I want to thank Psychopants for uh, subscribing. Appreciate that. Woohoo! Thanks, Psychopants. Um, and if you are who I think you are, type in the chat screen dice if you are the guy to the left of me selling dice. Or you could say your name. Or you can put your name if you wish. <laughs> that is entirely up to you. you However, put your last name. Unless it's extremely unique. Anyway. However, it was a fun. Uh, we went to a convention today. I'm going to start Hot with the announcements. I forgot to announce last stream that there was a convention today. So no, sorry, you guys. Did, announce it. did I? Yeah. Okay. So Fairfield Con was a great con. It was a lot of fun. Met a lot of people. Chatted oh, yeah. with quite a few. Even sold a few books, which was nice. So, you know, on top of everything, it was a, it was very beneficial. How many books are a few books? <coughs> um, I don't know. I literally came straight from there to here, so I haven't checked my books on how many books gotcha. I sold. It was a long day, but we had a lot of fun. It was. There was not nearly as many people at this Fairfield Con as there was last year. Um, last year, there was just a ton of people there. This year, it was hit and miss. Um, we were in about the same spot that we were at last year, but... The food vendor wasn't there this year. Food vendor wasn't there this year, and uh, they did the photo or the photo. Contest. The the contest for for cosplayers like around outside and around the other side of a big water feature there, and so oh, so that's what was going on. So back no there. one could okay. really. Last year they did it in the in the same area as the vendor hall, so on people that were waiting. At the stage, could actually come and like look at stuff and still see what was going on, and so it was a little different setup. Mm -hmm. But overall, again, it was a great convention. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but any announcements, uh, Rafa? Well, <coughs> we definitely want to. I'm going to try to talk slower today because I always talk so fast. Uh, we definitely want to thank our sponsors. Uh, you failed. Is that too cameras fast already? Here. I know who the camera is. Yeah, ca camera's <laughs> up here. All right. So I want to thank Epic Worlds and Games for uh, for sponsoring us. If you're not familiar with Epic Worlds and Games, uh, if you're a board gamer at all, I ha and uh, you're in the California area, I recommend going to Copperopolis and checking out Epic Worlds and Games. Uh, they are a fantastic board game store. Hey, they Jimmy. have quite a bit of stuff. Uh, you can talk to the owner, Jimmy. Jimmy's a great guy. He'll play games with you. He'll chat you. You know, he'll chat up board games with you, and uh, and he's always down to just kind of show and teach new games. Uh, it is one of the best board game stores in the Central Valley. Uh, one of the best ones in California, really. I, I think just it really is the whole package. I also want to thank um, uh, Endearing Films for hosting our streams that we do Sunday nights and Thursday nights, uh, and uh, in our studio. Yeah, <laughs> in our studio. <laughs> um, if you have any film needs, uh, whether it's weddings, commercials, uh, you know, internal videos for whatever reason, uh, definitely look up their website. Uh, I believe it is Enduring Films, and they also check out their YouTube. You can see that the quality is cinematic. Uh, he has drones. He has things that shoot broadcast level, uh, though we haven't gotten any broadcast work yet. Uh, but it is something that uh, we are definitely mm. looking into. He is actually doing some iHeartMedia stuff. So that Excellent. is sort of broadcast level, but not quite the same when you're talking about. Right. Um, and then uh, if you like beer and you are anywhere in the Bay Area of California, I highly suggest, or really anywhere, I highly suggest checking uh, out Four Eyes Ales uh, the, on Instagram. That is at the number four, E Y E S. A L E S, fantastic beer. Uh, we should be getting some beer to taste on in two weeks, I believe. Uh, he's going to send us three different kinds of beers. Uh, but if you're, uh, you know, like I said, in the Bay Area of California, uh, keep an eye on their Instagram. They constantly post where they're going to be, what what kind of new beers they're trying out. Uh, <laughs> definitely something delicious. Uh, also, want to tell you guys about our Thursday night stream, which is 8:30. Uh, on Thursdays, we do Fortune Favors the Board. It's a uh, it's uh, three of us here, and then two others. Uh, we get together to play uh, different kinds of board games. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we played Seafall, uh, or yeah, that was last week. Uh, last week, we played uh, the DC uh, deck building game, which was a lot of fun. Definitely something different than the uh, Marvel Legendary deck building game. Uh, and if you're curious about the differences, we have one of them up on our YouTube channel. 
which is uh, YouTube slash HOH Presents. You won't find it with that link. Okay. Never mind. Unfortunately, Look YouTube up. hasn't given us the good graces of a name yet. <laughs> So we're just uh, a bunch of gobbledygook, but you can look up the channel HOH Presents. Right. Or R4D or Fortune Favors the Board to try to find us. You right. can also go to our Twitch, or sorry, our Facebook, HOH Presents on Facebook, and in the About section it does have a, a .gl link to the right. YouTube channel. Uh, you're always uh, more than welcome, and we'd be happy to have you guys on Instagram. As far as Fortune Favors Board is concerned, we are at Favors Board. Um, yeah, so uh, keep an eye on this channel on Thursday, 8.30. We'll be streaming uh, some board games. I believe we're playing Horrified this week, which is a really good uh, Universal Monsters game. Sounds uh, horrifying. came out recently. What was that? Sounds horrifying. It is. Excellent. Um, oh, that reminds me. I had a suggestion for you, maybe, that okay. you might want to look into if you haven't heard of it. It's called Dark, Darker, Darkest. Okay. It's a board game. Give it a look up. I'll look, it, I'll look into yeah. it. Uh, also, want to thank Dragon Gem and Hairball for everything you guys have done. Uh, Dragon Gem has sent us a few games that we played already on the stream. Uh, and uh, Hairball, thank you for uh, supporting her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Also, if you guys get a chance, Dragon Gem has a Magic the Gathering stream, um, so look her up. Uh, it's it's really fun to sit and watch her play it. It's very informational as well as just entertaining. So, Magic the Gathering Arena. Just okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Well, two different things. Yeah. I only play well. vampires. That's it. Okay. Um, Quasi. <coughs> sure. Um, let's see. Um... Also, one of our sponsors, Gothma, at uh, Etsy. Um, let's see, uh, she makes patches, buttons, um, bits of costuming. Uh, she's very versatile. Um, let's see, currently there's nothing up on her Etsy, but uh, you can use it to contact her if you have a commission or just like a, a, a job. Um, if, you're, if you're somebody like Four Eyes Ale and you might want to make a patch or something, and um, I hear there might be a uh, an R4D patch in the making. Uh, so if uh, if uh, if you see the patch uh, one of these days and you want to get it, then well, hey, I'm sure there's uh, there's some sort of uh, way we can arrange that through Shameless Commerce. Um, let's see. On a more personal note, uh, the the choir for the Modesto Symphony has started up. It's sounding awesome. Um, and on an even more personal note, uh, at my live-action role-playing game yesterday, somebody actually tried to kill my character. So, so suck it, Mary. I still live. Br Brazilian rules? Um, no, not Brazilian rules. We're not in Brazil. Why can't the Queensberry rules? Um, no, it's dirtier than that. Nice. Now, John, I... I think there's there's a big announcement that we have coming up this uh, that we have today, right? Muscle Tov. Uh, we announced it on Fortune Favors. You were there to help me talk about it. Oh yeah, so Patreon. We launched our Patreon, um, which is Patreon slash HOH Presents. Uh, currently, it's set up for R four D, and eventually we'll be putting in some uh, yeah, Fortune Favors the Boys start, content. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna right now. It's really focused on this show. We want to make sure that this show really gets the representation it needs, and then uh, just like I did with uh, Fortune Favors of Board, we're going to piggyback on it. Does that can't. have a link to the YouTube? <laughs> um, yes. I believe uh, I believe that's when put on the Patreon. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not the one in charge of the Patreon, but I will find out if it's got the link or not. Um, we're currently recording, so if you have signed up for Patreon, you will notice that there are not the videos that it says there will be. We're recording those, um, and we will get those posted as soon as we can. Um, and uh, I would also like to point out that Ryan's the only person wearing color. Everybody else is wearing black. No, no, I got. No, I got. <laughs> he's wearing shades. dark gray. It's, it's, it's because it's charcoal. Oh, sure. It's because Jonah is colorful. <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. Not just I can't in language. see color. <laughs> you can't <laughs> <You're> blind. <laughs> Correct. Wait, what? He's blind. Um. Anyone else have an announcement? Uh, Saturday yes. we had a great blast. We had. Great fun at the run fair. Oh yeah, so tell uh, tell us a little bit more about that run fair. Uh, we went 
John and I went to Casa de Fruta on Saturday to blow off some steam and have some fun. We went to a bunch of very interesting people, one of which tried to seduce him with a lot of alcohol. And it was Did really good succeed? tasty alcohol. No. Uh, but it was a really good honey whiskey. Oh, yes, it was. Very warm, really good honey and whiskey. So, get had it stuffed at. Yes. Anyway. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. How long is it going to last? Uh, for six more weeks. Okay. Until the week before Halloween. So if you guys are in the area and uh, know where Casa de Fruta is or just want to go down to there, um, we can definitely do that. Anything else from anyone else? Yes. Uh, I just wanted to announce that uh, as of this next week, by the time uh, we film... Uh, or start going live with episode 12. All of the past episodes of this season, uh, episode 4 notwithstanding, because it got lost in the Matrix. You had um, one job. It, it got lost in the Matrix. Uh, so that Agent one... Agent Smith got a hold of it. Exactly. Uh, that one notwithstanding... Sure Agent... Nope. Wind? I'm okay. positive. Uh, the truth is out there, though. Um... <laughs> But uh, the other 10 episodes, bringing us up to episode 11 and 12, will be posted uh, by Saturday, I believe, is when, based on my schedule, as long as I keep to it, this one should be uh, uploaded on Saturday at noon Pacific uh, to our YouTube. So you can binge watch them all and get completely caught up if that's what you're looking for. Uh, also, the posting schedule of an episode every day will probably slow down after that. Um, oh, come on. I th I that way I'm not flooding inboxes with just fortune favors the board until we run out of those two. <laughs> So instead... Dragon Jim appreciates that. However, yeah. I thought you were going to do some Try TV episodes to fill in to make sure we're still hitting daily posts. Yeah, didn't you limits. post a Try TV episode this last week? I, I, I did because I thought it was Try TV, but it turned out to just be a week I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a great episode. It actually was. Uh, not because oh, 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 oh. No, the, 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 guest, oh. the guest that we brought on was... Oh my god, he kills me. He was a great host. I watched so the first 30 seconds after uh, I realized what had happened. Yeah. Um, and Adam? No, it was no, John. John Cates. <laughs> Lots of uh, t uh, Titan A talk. There. Okay, so... Uh, but, um, oh, go ahead. Uh, so oh, the, the schedule will probably be changing uh, to a uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday upload. Um, I'm thinking... Monday, we'll do a uh, episode of Fortune Favors the Board. We'll put uh, episode 12, today's episode up on Wednesday. And then Friday, we'll put another episode of Fortune Favors the Board until we get caught up on those, and then it'll probably change again. Okay, perfect. Anyone else? Anything? I'm good. Bueller? Bueller? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Bueller. as some of you may know, there was a special episode of R4D on Tuesday, um, and there was poker being played. And it was fun. And not everyone here was there. So it was great. So it was even better. I had to work. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that being said, um, there were some things that happened. And I'm just going to include that into the recap tonight. So if you guys are watching and you're like, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. Things don't seem to mesh up with where we ended last time. Suck it. Um <laughs> <laughs> We you are, can't say that to the audience, John? No, no, I'm not saying that to the audience. I was looking at you guys, not to the camera when I said that. As far as the audience, sorry, but hopefully you'll you'll understand we needed to make some things canon because it was determined to be so. So. And it seems more fun that way, too. That being said, let's go ahead and get started with tonight's episode of Recipe for Disaster. Dun, dun, dun. dun. Okay, so when last we left our players, you guys were heading back to the bus after successfully determining who had killed or who had arranged for the murder of the victim with that stray bullet through the wall. Stray bullet. You guys determined it wasn't a stray bullet. It was just flat out um, planned. It was a twofer. It was just murder. And uh, you guys were on the way back after a long day of uh, discussing what you should do with the person and you guys dropped him off at the police station and, and everything was good. 
upon com- upon getting onto the bus, you guys realized, being the Fourth of July, that it'd be horrible to try to leave Silicon, Alabama, in such traffic. So you decided to stay another day there. Right. As the evening hit, some of you ventured out and went to a local bar where you met a couple other people and you played a, a really nice game of poker. One of those people was a just a regular guy named Chuck who seemed to be calling everyone by the wrong name <laughs> throughout the whole he night. Might he might have been drunk. There may Chuck have been some drunk. beer flowing. And he looked like a grown-up version of Charlie Brown. You also, <laughs> you also ran into someone named Steve. Now, Steve, seeming quite dense, was not the winner of the poker night, but he did he did last pretty long. Last and longer than I did. And before the end of the game, before you guys broke up and went back to the bus to enjoy the fireworks, he gave a mirror to Jonah. And that's where we're picking it up. You guys are watching the fireworks exploding overhead. It is great. George, I need a higher low. Hi. I'm sorry, John. Can you repeat that? He needs a higher low. You're watching the fireworks. Uh, as in you in general, not you in specific. You're listening. You're, listening. You're listening, listening to, the to, the, to the fireworks. Or are you <laughs> reacting like a cat or a dog? No, no, no. Hold on. He's listening to fireworks. He's reacting like a cat. <laughs> and you guys are inside the bus. So as the as they explode overhead with bright colors, Dustin crawls under a table and starts making weird growling noises. Bill? <laughs> Bill? You said I'm in the bus, right? Yes, everyone else, everyone's in the bus. You can all hear this. Oh, well, I'm in the shower. So again... Yeah, it's been a long day. Every night. Well, do I know if the bus is near anyone or anywhere, and as far as Slocum goes, or is it still at the high school? Um, you don't know, really. Uh, you took an Uber back from the bar. Um, everyone was drinking heavily, including yourself, so you're you're slightly inebriated. Hey, Jonah, how far are we from town? Away oh, from town? I thought we were in town. Well, I mean, yes. like yes. actual so civilization. Like tra- I'm guessing we're still. What in front do you of want? High yes, okay. you're still in front of the high school. Uh, <laughs> what was your question? I apologize. <laughs> uh, I was trying to figure out how far we were from like civilization. If you walk uh, a couple of miles that way, you're already on the other I, side I'm, of town. Silicon Silver is lit. Can you speak civilization? I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, I was. Oh. I was going to ask Bill to do it, but he's occupied in the shower. Um, and those How do you know that? I can they hear the can water hear running. The water running. <laughs> <laughs> in the way it lands on your body. And uh, uh, I don't want to think about it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question, Jim? Uh, hey, Dustin. Normally I'd ask you set someone, test? or I'd have somebody uh, describe the fireworks to me. But um, Okay, whatever. Suit yourself. So you Bill's occupied in the shower, so I was going to go and try to see if I could find somebody else. You know, you could just, like, you knock on the shower and tell him to stop jacking off. You could also just ask one of us. Oh, wait a minute. I need to get in character. <laughs> you know. <laughs> 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 you could knock on the door yes. of the shower and tell him to stop jacking off. Oh, there you are, preacher. I didn't hear you come in. <laughs> It's My okay. apologies. We, we've already established he's pretty sneaky. Huh? I was, I wasn't, I wasn't quite myself. It was, uh, it was the evils of the alcohol and and the the euphoria of, of winning my poker game. Yeah, that poker game. Preach me. Hey, Bob, can you fix me a mint julep? Yeah, I think I could do that. Awesome. Want to fix yeah, me some of that too? Be. No. Please. Okay. Fix yourself one too if you want. Oh, rather nice of you. Well, I think I can go make a few of those. Mm-hmm. John. Yes. Would I remember that I had a name written on, or a number written on me? Um, you can make a memory check. Would I even have known that I had a number written on me? Yes, someone had pointed it out to you. I think it was seven. Five. Multiple someone's. No, you do not recall that it's there. Fantastic. It is still there, but you don't know that it, you don't realize. Because you can't, like, see. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so, uh, yeah, I was, I was hoping I could find somebody to, uh, I don't, I don't want to disturb him, um, and his shower. I know how much he likes those. So, um, hold up. You're asking if someone that is Bill or someone else not on the bus could describe fireworks to you. Well, I figured you guys probably wouldn't want to. He's under a table. You didn't even bother asking. Well, he's growling, so I don't think that's a good sign. No, I'm just saying in general, you didn't bother asking <laughs> us. You're just saying you want Bill, who's showering. Well, I figured you'd be hooping and hollering, and the... I can see. Preacher man can see. Oh, tr I mean, I didn't think you'd be interested, but if you guys want to Preacher man, do you mind fireworks describing to fireworks to him? No. <laughs> uh, I guess it's up to me, then. So think of a... Uh, because you used to see, right? Yeah, when I was uh, you never much saw younger than now. Before? I mean, it's... Do you remember what a spark looks like? We didn't have the 4th of July as a celebration. Do you remember what colors from? were like? Like vibrant colors? Yes. Alright, so just think of vibrant colors in the sky just kind of poof. I come out of the shower now. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> you can't see you waving your arms around. I'm just speaking with my arms. You can, you can imagine that. You can probably hear the wind. <laughs> ah, good job. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, bird. All right, I, I'll come out. But like, in how my, is Roisin doing with the fireworks? She seems perfectly fine. In really? my, in my silk pajamas, my silk pajama suit. I'll, I'll come out and, and join you guys. Wait, you kept the pit silk, silk pajama suit? What else, am I, what else am I going to sleep in? I mean, <laughs> so you only have that and like two other suits? Yeah. Minus a jacket. What happens if you piss in all of them? Why? Why do you, I'm not going to piss in all of them. I mean, why do you think you were in the shower for so long? You are probably cleaning them all up. I like showers. <laughs> I'd be taking a bath, but this place doesn't have a bath. You're welcome to check into the local hotel. Bob, yeah. feel free to send him the bill for the water. The bill? Yes. Right. Speaking of bills. You don't pay for... Anyway, here's your mint juleps. <laughs> <laughs> here's one for you. Oh, I'm sorry. I spilled some of yours. Here's one for you. Speaking of bills, some spill. Of it, some of it yes. on him. <laughs> would, you, uh, would you mind describing the fireworks to me? Imagine an explosion... So close to your face that you you blow off your ear. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> so it would look like really close up. You guys are terrible at this. <laughs> John, this is why I, I want to know where civilization was. <laughs> go outside and actually watch the fireworks. Okay. Are we not outside? No, no, no you're all in the bus. bus. Oh, <laughs> you were just showering. You're what showering. You, you came out in your silk. <laughs> Suit. Everyone's in the bus. It's a good thing. I just, and Dustin's right. under a table. I had clothes on this time. And making cool. your break for the door. Okay, as soon as the door opens up, I need you to make an agility roll and you to make an agility roll as you guys are stepping out of the bus together. 20. 4. 9. Okay, so you don't fall down as Dustin attempts to pull what most small cats do and run between your legs out the door as you open the door to the bus. Back ride. He darts really fast, though. It's like, whoa, what the heck was that? You know, sort of thing. Speed of nine? Yeah. Well, there it goes. He's going to get killed again. Again? Yeah. It's okay. You can heal him up a lot faster. Wait, how many times have I died? I mean, you got shot in your kidney. Okay, yeah, that's one. I mean, you didn't die, but yeah. I remember jumping off a roof. That was scary. <laughs> Yeah, no, you didn't die in that. Fell right there. into my arms. Yeah. Uh, so I think you might have kissed you too. I didn't see it because I was out of my. There was definitely none fist, of that. It just stuck through a door, but I'm just saying they might have. Might so, have, might John? Have. It didn't. Wow. So I'm outside. <laughs> you peed on my leg. For anything. All right. Like, uh, taking the fireworks. It's like, happy birthday, United States of America. God bless you. Okay. And so you're outside drinking your mint julep. Mm -hmm. You're toasting running. The United States. Fast as far as your, as your. Oh no, I already did. Do I okay. see him toast? Roll a perception roll. You're on the bus. There's a good chance that you did. There's a I good know, chance I, that you I, did. I know I wouldn't probably hear him. Yeah. 
but I'd definitely see them if I could. Three. No. That's yeah, 13. No, that's 13. I rolled one, sorry. 13. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you watching that are like, what the hell are they rolling? Uh, it's 2d10 added together. Yes. I need to stress the word two. Sometimes. D10 The added only together. time it's not is for initiative. And, yeah, and so, so Ryan failed his perception because he failed to roll two dice. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, you do see him. All right, I'm just going to... Raise imagine. his glass up. I'm going to guess that he's probably saying amen because he's a preacher man. And so I'm just going to say amen. And just cheers and toast at the same time. Okay. So you guys hear him yell out, amen, and just... Praise the Lord. Hey, what are they drinking, Bob? I'm in Julo. Do we have alcohol in here? Definitely no. not. No, there's no alcohol on the bus. Would you like one? Yes. Okay, I'll go make you one. I can get you some piss water too if you want. I was just feeling something extra fancy. And because Bob is making it. <laughs> what more American is there than a mint julep? Uh, piss water. <laughs> made in Bourbon. by American brewers. That You're lucky I'm not it. on the bus to hear Bourbon. <laughs> After a few moments, Bob comes. Here you go. Thank you. Enjoy. Uh, I take Bob, a can you help can me I get I into the bourbon again? Of course. It'll, it'll take me a little bit. Isn't it just under the bus? Well, yeah, but I have to go outside and open things and move things around and get to your, your secret stash. Oh. Secret okay. stash. All right. Also, Bob, you wouldn't happen to want to describe or be inclined to give a nice, detailed, and slightly romanticized description of the fireworks to me, would you? Oh, nice. <laughs> romanticized. How old were you when you lost your sight? Fifteen. Yeah. Do you remember confetti, like streamers of confetti? Do you know what that is? I assume I would know what that is. Yeah. yeah. So picture yeah. that in the sky, really bright. Everything else pitch black, almost like the stars themselves are exploding in every imaginable color. I mean, that's what I said. Basically. You said sparklers. You know sparklers? I didn't say sparklers. <laughs> I just said they went... <laughs> and, that's, and that's about what it is. Well, that was a very nice description, but it's... Uh, it's not what I'm used to, I guess. When I was in the, the carnival, I had a... Some, some one of the others would um, describe what was happening. Let me guess. As they a woman? Off. Eh, it's not important. Oh, it's a, guys describe things one way, like Bill. And women describe things another way, like Dustin. Oh, wait, he's gone. So, <laughs> I mean, you know. If our angel was still around, she could describe it. I think that's the first time that I've ever heard of a girl named Dustin. I was talking about the cat guy that ran out of here real fast. Oh, okay. We have a cat guy? Let me go get that <clears throat> bourbon for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think he needs it. I believe you've called him a raccoon. Oh, the raccoon. Oh, up. <laughs> You're not even here for this. I know. <laughs> runs back and claws your eyes out and then runs away. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was the poker game? Uh, well, it was the uh, second one out. Naturally, the blonde guy was the first one. He actually did pretty good, though. For his first time playing with bad instructions. <coughs> oh, yeah. I thought I'd do pretty good. But I got outclassed by that Chuck guy, that Steve Dentz guy. It was just very dense. And then uh, the preacher man, of course. Oh, yeah. no, I think they were cheating. Yeah. It's weird. Also, it's I don't really know guy. the rules of... Um, I did get a mirror. A mirror? Yeah. I got a mirror. So it was made out of bottle caps, right? Yeah, you saw him pick up the bottle caps and was crush them in his hand. Bottle caps then? The bottle it caps was, was four. Four bottle caps. Four bottle caps. Crushed them into a powder, and he just sort of like rubbed them together and created this like. The mirror? Is it just like so it's like a, a little dental size mirror. So that kind of makes up for the coin that I that I have now. I guess. I mean, it's made from bottle caps. Somehow he made them into dust with his hand. Yeah. Huh. 
Neat. I mean, I'd like the coin back too, but that's not happening. I mean, I'm I'm getting things left and right, and people are stealing them from me. Ain't happening. Yeah, about that. I put it, put the mirror back in my pocket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So the fireworks explode. It's really nice. You guys hear the explosions speed up. There's more of them. Um, and then they just die off eventually. Uh, I go outside to watch the fireworks. While well, it's doing the grand finale? No, <laughs> after, because I think there's going to be more. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> um, meanwhile, Dustin had run off. I'm assuming I wouldn't have heard yeah, where sure he ran go. off to. I'm sorry? Would I have... Heard which direction? You can certainly roll a perception roll and see if you can figure it out. Double fives. Followed by 13, 23. Okay. Yes, you know exactly which direction he ran off to. Which one was it? Um, away from the school and away from town. Like down the road. Where so you guys south? had been jumped last time. Yes. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Was it more south or south by southwest? Uh, it's more south by southeast, actually. South by southeast. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go out of the bus and just say, so should we uh, go look for prosthetic guy? Catman? Does no. he have a like a bell on him? We should put a bell on him. We should, probably. That'd be a good idea. Um, hey, Catman! Now, for those of you at home, I don't know if you guys remember, and for our new viewers, um, I said if one person runs off from the group, we will do that separately on our Patreon. So that will be a Patreon-only video. Um, so I will only tell people how they wound up, and he'll have to guess at what happened until uh, I can get a chance to talk with him privately. But we'll do the role-playing out of what happens to Dustin when he ran off. So far, I think we owe them a video with me. Yes, we owe them one video with you, and now I owe them a video with Dustin. Do you answer my call? Oh, hell no. Don't even try, Jonah. Um, he took, long, he took I mean, off I'm, like a whip. I'm not going to go search for him. I was just trying to see if I could hear him. You can't outrun him. He's and again, I can't really hear much of anything. So, so it's best just to wait here and, uh, and uh, see if he crawls back or yeah. if he's dead. When he took off, he was not wearing his boots either. Or gloves. Yeah, it looks like he left most of his clothes in the... Uh, in the bus. So no he's boots. no longer puss in boots. No boots, no gloves, no cloak, Can no I, sweatshirt. Uh, Ooh, dips on the cloak. <laughs> he just has his pants on. I yep, think he just left pants. some of his clothes inside. Can I keep them? No. As I'm putting on the hook, the cloak. Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> I just nodded right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That sounds excessive, even for me. <laughs> I'm going to institute a rule on this bus. Uh, if uh, if somebody goes missing, at least 30 days before you can rifle through their things and start trying to claim it. All right. Well, let's go find Andrew Lloyd Webber here. Now, is that <laughs> is, is that rule in effect now or? It's in effect now. Just, just like now, mind. now. Keep in mind, Bill Sender. There's kind of just. Do you want to walk to Oklahoma City? Everywhere. No. So did you guys get now. back on the bus or not? Hmm? Did you guys get back on the bus? Oh, yeah. I yeah. must have to put the cloak on. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, never mind. Okay, so you're on the bus? Mm hmm. All right. Bless your soul. Sorry. I just had to know if whether or not you could hear the parrot before I. <laughs> I mean, it could have just been muted. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just needed to know. I have to ask uh, Roshin who she's talking to. Are you on the bus? Still? I don't know. I'm apparently hanging around the door drinking <laughs> bourbon. Yeah, so, so Bob comes up and hands you a bottle of bourbon. Oh, now point. he gets it to me. Yeah, now he gets it to you. This is why you're hanging around the door. Like, am I in? Am I out? I don't know. I need my bourbon. And it's after she says, bless yes. her soul. Yeah. That yeah. She doesn't respond when you ask, you know, who you talking to. Well, now about I know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Yep. So, where'd your puss go? Who's asking? Bob. 
<laughs> no, that's what I say to him. <laughs> <laughs> Hell if I know. Oh, but just... imagine uh, Dustin will be back uh, now that the fireworks have stopped. Assuming he knows where we are. Uh, is anybody good at tracking people? Oh yeah, the cat was. Yeah, Dustin. Alright, let's get him to track down Dustin. I'll stop talking. Did you just, <laughs> did you just hear what you just said? <laughs> did you did you get your extra serving of dumb when you were born? I keep talking like to that like man. When do we take a longer shower? <laughs> well, I, I don't think you can. Uh, I think you blew your wad like uh, this first time. I think he blows his wad all the time. Just saying. I mean, I think that's that's got something to do with your your urinary tract problem too. If you're constantly jacking off, then you you also lose some control over your your other functions of of that uh, of that vicinity. I don't just think that's true. Point in a direction. You're gonna what? I'm just gonna point. Okay. In yeah. any direction. No, the right one. Okay. So but I'm point. not gonna move. I'm okay. just gonna. You're just gonna Wait, you're going to point in the direction of the cop? Ish. So anyone that wants to may roll a perception roll, with the exception of Dustin. <laughs> oh, um, come on. <laughs> to see if you notice him pointing. Eight. I love it. Nah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you guys see him take like a, a swig of his bourbon and go, and he points off in a direction. Are place? you that concerned about Dustin? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest here. We put up a front, but we kind of like each other, right? Uh, well, <laughs> the group, the group. I mean, as as friends. Fine, fine. <laughs> Keep in mind too. He is you know, cat. you might want to change out of your your PJs if we're going to go looking for a straight cat. All right, I'll put on my hiking suit. <laughs> <laughs> you have a hiking suit. His arm is now down. <laughs> so let's see. He has a business suit, a pajama I'll, suit. I'll go to my office suit. and uh, pick up my, my, my red laser pointer. Okay. The so hiking suit is a business suit that no longer has a jacket. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so you get changed into your my hiking suit. Hiking suit. Yeah. Um, you going to ask what they're doing? You see them all get back on the bus and... Come well, back was, the reason I didn't see him pointing or even bother paying attention to it was because I'm just watching to see if there's any more fire. Yeah, so we're just nope. watching the smoke. Okay, yeah, yeah you just it it fades <coughs> as, as they're coming back off the bus. <laughs> uh, so Catman, you finding him? Searching for, him? looking for? Him? Trying to we're get going him. to make a feeble attempt to, to look for him. <laughs> Bob's like, I'll stay here back. in case he comes back, and I'll call you. Yeah, I mean there call. is there is a forest. I mean he could have gone on. Anyway. Could I get a mint julep to go? It's yeah, entirely I think, I think possible. The, pla- the glasses are plastic, so yeah, I'll go make you one. Neat, thank you. It's entirely possible, and I'll once again point in the right direction, but just like offhandedly. I mean, it is possible. That doesn't mean that he just veered off to some direction. He's a cat after all. Ish. Bobby and Jim and Julie. That's why we're making thank a you. feeble you attempt are. to search for him. <laughs> gotcha. I know. No, I completely agree. He could be anywhere. Uh, all right. So you got your mint. Jul- Deep in the heart of the forest. Is that what it's called? I've actually never heard of the name before. So yeah, mint, mint julep. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. You got your mint julep. I do. And you got our drinks, a bottle of bourbon. Maybe that'll get them to come out too. And your laser pointer. It's a nice little ni- uh, night hike. All right, let's do this. <laughs> okay. So as you guys go searching for them, I need you guys to roll perception rolls. Fantastic. Which way are we going? <laughs> <laughs> North. Six. Twelve. Sixteen. Okay, so you have no idea. Okay. You start like, I think he's this way. Everyone else is walking away from you. You're like, oh yeah, that's, you know, (laughs) and, you know, catching up with the group. You guys, after a good 15 to 20 minutes of meandering, you guys think you're on the right trail when you see some blood on the ground in the forest. Just a puddle. Small. Were we traveling in the correct direction? Yes, you guys are traveling in the... Well, meandering. 
Right. In the correct direction. Are we around the same area that was the fight that we had? Two episodes ago? Yeah, just just about. Yeah, just about there. Yeah. Is my uh, just a little bit past? Oh, was my arrow still in the red? No, oh. arrow's not there. But then again, neither is the bomb thing. When what may have been a bomb? Well, it's been that whole day, so I was assuming yeah. the FBI yeah. has been turned to clean up. When you say a puddle of blood, I mean you step in it. You step we in it, and like everyone else sees it. So it's fresh. Yes. It's not from two days ago. Correct. In the tree line. Correct. Okay. Yes. Yeah. He no, is no, not crusty. This is this is fresh. A fresh puddle of blood. Okay. It's, not, it's still very warm. It's not from when I. No. Beat motherfuckers with themselves. Correct. No, it's not from that. Oh, okay. man, you're stepping in the blood. Blind boy? Well, I didn't know it was going to be here. Did you say blood? I did say blood. Okay. Now, oh, take a look over here. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about time to break out one of those rings. <laughs> gonna, not yet. I'm going to dip my fingers in the blood and just put it right in front of me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I need another one. <laughs> I don't think Bob's going to be too happy about that. So, what do you guys do? Well, I can't. Blood, you're standing there. I can't see where the blood isn't I'm, or where it is. Yes, I know. Um, so this is kind of the extent of my tracking. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, look, John, are we in? Warm. Are we in the forest or are we on the? Um, you're in the edge of the forest. Is there a trail of blood? <laughs> um. What did you roll in your perception? 16. Yes. Okay. Yes, you do see there's some on, on some of the trees, and there's some on the ground, and up in the branches, you know, up in the branches a little bit, there's, and there's some, there's some dripping. That way. Oh, terrific. Well, let's go see what the uh, cat's gotten into this time. All right. So you said it's up some branches. Yeah, you, I mean, you could see it like... like or it's on branches. It's like on branches, running. Like, like running and jumping, gotcha. and there's some dripping from, from branches onto the path. Oh, and man, he just likes making messes. You know. Dustin. <laughs> Catman. <laughs> Kitty. Dustin. And I'm assuming, Trevor, you're following them, or are you standing at the puddle of blood? I mean, I'm, I'm going to follow because I don't know what else to do. But okay. So I mean, as you guys venture more so into so the forest, I need you guys to roll. Puddle of blood? Yes, it's a great game. We movie. are a puddle of blood. Um, I need you guys to roll perception rolls again. Why didn't anybody tell us that we were a puddle of blood? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's your new hero group name. Uh, nine. Nine. Twenty-two. Wow. Okay, so you two are hanging towards the back. Okay. Because you know you're like blood. It's okay that the smell of blood goes away as I'm still carrying it with us. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's on my feet. You're stepping in every puddle. <laughs> well, I don't know where they are. <laughs> um, so, so you two are in the back and you notice the two ahead of you sort of moving and so you guys are following them. Um, Ryan, you, uh, you can tell that it's a clearing. You can see that it's going to the middle of the clearing. It's really dark. No one brought flashlights. So... It's really dark in that clearing. Phones. You do have your phones. Take out Correct. my phone and use the flashlight. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Meanwhile, as he pulls out his phone and starts turning on the flashlight, you see in the middle of this clearing something hunched over, unconscious, breathing raggedly, blood all over its fur, chained. Boys, I think this is a trap. Dustin's Fantastic for Dustin's letting Dustin's in the middle of clearing. He's chained. How can you so tell that's Dustin? What is he chained to? The ground, I presume. Yeah, it's, it's, you're, you're seeing his back. He's hunched over. You can't really see. Oh, it's back. Sorry. I'll sign the laser pointer around to see if I uh, see any metallic glints. Um, high or low? Low. Okay, so you start shining the laser pointer around, and at one point... It hits something and you see it go across and then go across and then go down and go across and go down, almost like you hit mirrors. All right. Um. But it doesn't come back towards you. It's all like on the far side. It's like the laser gets bounced around and lost on the far side of the. <sighs> Stay put. Do not enter the middle of the clearing. I'm going to go around and see why it's spread at the chat box. I mean, shouldn't it be all of us going around this clear? 
I would say take at least one of us. All right, then. Come with me, John. All right. Can't say I'm not Just offended. like the old days. <laughs> Just like the old days. <laughs> So, do you guys go the right side around the clearing or the left side around the? I'm just curious. Hey, Jonah, are, are you able to heal him from a distance? No. Jonah, have your shot, Captain. Rack and ready, sir. Rack one. While they're going, do I hear anything off? Um, aside, give me a moment. Aside from apparently his breathing, I'm assuming. Yeah, you, you are hearing ragged steps. breathing from something in so, the middle of the clearing. Are you guys going left around the clearing or I right around the clearing? I actually to double check for the laser itself. I'm guessing you meant like it was a semicircle because it's bearing kind of a circle. Yeah. Maybe, basically. And then the laser just kind the, of the laser, in a semicircle. Well, so, so he, as he was pointing the laser around into the trees, he hit it. One of the spots he hit, it just the beam refracted from that spot and bounced around to several other spots on the far side of the clearing. Okay. It wasn't even a semicircle, it was it just bounced around okay. on the far side of the clearing. So, right or left, sir? Clockwise. <laughs> clockwise it is. Okay. Lead the way, because I have no idea what clockwise is. Well, you know, I could have said Widdishins, but <laughs> you would never understand what Widdishins is. <laughs> Okay, so you guys start going clockwise mm -hmm. around the clearing. Um, I need you guys to roll some perception rolls, and Trevor, I need you to roll a perception roll. Uh, I rolled a 17 okay, when I asked you. about if thank I you. heard that's, anything. That's, that'll work. But I don't roll anything. Um, are you trying to figure out anything, or are you just standing there with... Jack. Jack. I'm trying, trying not to roll. Jack. Okay, are you, then are you, you don't need to. Are you trying to prevent point. yourself from throwing up because of the travel? No, I'm, Jack's I'm over it now. 14. <laughs> okay. 10. Okay. <laughs> um, let me tell Trevor what he hears, and then I'll I'll jump over to you guys real quick. Trevor, so you're you're listening intently. You're actually focusing. You hear them walk off towards your left, so you're focusing more on the right just to make sure there's nothing strange. You do hear some the sound of uh, something moving slowly. Whatever it is is heavy. Um. You hear like, but very slowly and very <laughs> heavy. You hear the sounds of like twigs as they're eased down and you can just hear the, the crackling, the very light crackle of the twigs. But whatever it is, it's moving really slowly over, over in that direction. Does it <laughs> Like molasses-like. Does it seem to have the same apparent weight as uh, the first Termabot? No, um, a lot heavier. Heavier. Yeah, so almost elephant size beast okay. is is the weight that you're hearing. But it's so that, trying to be. The size. And but how it's, far but it's away being is this? Very quiet. Uh, about a hundred yards. Hundred yards. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah. Bill. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? What's up? You're trying to not raise suspicion. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see anything about 300 feet <laughs> to uh, our right? 11. Um, you look over there, and, and at first you don't see any. Real it's, subtle. It's dark. You know, it's the, the moon isn't even out. It's really dark. Um, but you think you might see something moving. It, it almost reminds you of, like the ring. Um, ah! You see, <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see like wisps of dark hair through the tree branches, but it's really hard to see. And maybe some like pale looking. It, it's it's hard to tell. It's a good distance away. Are there mountain lions here? Well, there's at least one. <laughs> John, would I know if there's mountain lions in you have Alabama? No <laughs> You'd have no clue if there's mountain lions in Alabama. I, I mean, this sounds a great deal. I mean, this sounds a great deal um, bigger, whatever it is. Do mountain lions have manes? <laughs> John, do I know if mountain lions have manes? Uh, high or low? Whoever knows the answer to high this. High or low? High. No clue. You've never seen a mountain lion. I mean, a lion's a lion, right? 
<laughs> that, that makes sense. He ain't lying. <laughs> uh, how, I wish you could see this because I don't know how to explain it to you. How 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 big? It's hard to see. Big. Huge tracks of that. Walking straight towards us. <laughs> Subtle. Remember. I don't know. <laughs> Walking straight towards us? It's moving really... You can't really tell which direction it's moving because of how slow. Because it's it's over the course of minutes yes. that some, it takes a step? Yes. And and when it does, oh, it's God. not even in one direction. It's more side-to-side -side sort of stepping. So you can't really tell how far forward it's really moving. Are there moose here? Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> minutes apart. Yeah. I minutes. don't really know. <laughs> I think you should throw something at it. Oh yeah, you want me to provoke it and whatever else might be around? Hey, maybe we shouldn't throw anything at it. <laughs> That's probably a better idea. Now, here's the question I have. Do you think it could climb trees? Do mountain lions climb trees? I don't know. <laughs> Do moose climb trees? <laughs> that one I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because I'm... Forgive me, but my, my first reaction here is that if it is coming towards us, I can defend myself, but I'd probably push you in the clearing to get you out of the way. And right. that would probably get you killed, so I don't want to do that. Without saying anything, I slowly fall into fetal position and play you dead. You don't want to do that? <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing. I can hear you. You can roll a, a perception to see if you hear him slowly falling into fetal position. 17. Yes. So, so you hear you hear his, his like knees hit the ground and his I, I, butt I, I hit the ground. Back <laughs> I'm curious. Do you start whimpering as you do it? Like, no, I'm just uh, to, to, to Jack. <laughs> It's a bear. I think this is the best bet. Do I know anything about bears? <laughs> <laughs> no, not no? really. No. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure they can smell your fear. And the urine in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> yes, his fear. If you're talking to a dead man, <laughs> I am dead. I'm pretending to be dead. I mean, also, I'm dead. bears aren't this sneaky. Have you ever met a bear? Of course. <laughs> you met a bear. I fought a bear. I wrestled it once. I'm gonna play dead. <laughs> <laughs> Complete dead weight in your arm. <laughs> roll the strength roll to see if you can still hold him up. 18. Yeah, it's it's rough though. You're you're like <laughs> bracing with two hands now just to sort of keep him up there. <laughs> but yeah, you, you've got him. Also, yeah. if it is a bear, the trick is to get bigger than it. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite so much dead weight. Now it's more ungainly. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Meanwhile, you two, I mean, you get yeah. you guys are heading down and around. I just want to glance towards the middle of the clearing again just to see if I can make out if it actually is dust. Are you shining the flashlight over that way again? Uh, your, your, your flashlight cell phone? No. Okay. Um, it's it's really hard to see. Roll perceptional. Really hard to see. Fourteen. Um, it very well could be. Uh, whatever it is, it's hunched over and its four legs or arms are uh, are tied Chained to something, it looks like a like a log, or more like a tree stump. It looks like it was tied over the tree stump. Okay. Um, and I'm guessing that the tree stump is right next to person chained up. No, no, no. Or they're the hunched up. over oh, a the tree stump. Tree stump. Yeah. Sure so we don't actually see that this thing is actually chained up. You see chains. We see chains, but we don't yes. see that it's actually chained up. Yes, you're assuming it's chained up. You see chains. The th it's hunched over the tree stump. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure it's not a bumper? <laughs> <laughs> and so you guys are making your way down there. Um, what did you roll for your perceptions? 14. 14 and... 14 as well. 14, okay, perfect. Well, I, I rolled that for him. I yeah. Don't know if he wanted us well, to what did you roll prior to that? Do you remember? 
He are rolled you a about ten. A uh, ten. That's right. Okay, thank you. Um, so as you guys are moving around, um, you barely make up the the uh, shape of somebody off in the uh, distance. Uh, just it's whoever it is is wearing black clothing in the dark. Really hard to see them. Uh, you do catch like a slight glint of metal, dulled metal on their shoulders. So that's that's how you're like, okay, that's a person. You about the only thing that you can make out. Fine. <laughs> I see you. You might as well step out and stop hiding. Let's talk about this. Leveling my shotgun no towards the direction because I don't see who you're yeah, talking Yeah, you, you've got no clue. You're like <laughs> <laughs> pointing oh, in a general direction. I flash the, the laser pointer. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Alon. Hi. Okay, so you flash the laser pointer in that direction and it's whoever it is, they they're, they step deeper into a shadow. They move. You kind of miss it. But but you see I the direction see okay. the, the laser pointer went. Did I see yeah. it land on it? No. Not at all. You got scatter shot or solid? Good question. Buck or bird <laughs> shot? <laughs> yeah, we're all doomed. <laughs> you're not even asking to clar- John to clarify. You're just <laughs> you're gonna let him decide when you jo- shoot it. Jonah doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this may be the end of the, the uh, system tonight. <laughs> oh, I'll survive. <laughs> Fine, we'll continue walking in that direction. <laughs> okay. Um, so as you get over to where he was. he was, you guys get to make some more perception rolls. Eleven. Ten. Okay. Um, as you get up there, you see footprints. So not footprints, but indent- indentions in the... So they don't look like feet. Well, it, <laughs> you, you, you don't get like boot prints. Okay. It's more like there's indentations where the person was standing in the in the undergrowth. Gotcha. So you can see that there was someone standing there. You can see that they may have gone in some direction. There's some broken twigs in both ways, so it's really hard to tell which way they went. But they were standing there. There was somebody. Ah, see, I'm, I'm leaving now, preacher man. Mm-hmm. Where'd he go? Do I see uh, how that sort of broken foliage? Did? Yeah, so there, there's foliage and broken in both directions. It almost looks like there was a slight struggle in the area. Hmm. Probably before you guys got here. Should we just keep going around? There's some dripping blood on things. Mm-hmm. Should we keep going around a little bit just to see if we can see anything else? Try to get this fool. Oh. I look up. <laughs> so you just look up, or are you shining your laser uh, pointer? I'll I mean, shine my laser pointer. Okay, so as you look up, you put the laser pointer, and you see a guy. I mean, the, the laser pointer hits the middle of, of his black outfit, mm-hmm. and he's like in the tree above you, just like holding on. He's got like metallic looking claws, clawed Son hands, of a bitch. and he drops down on you guys. He needs some initiatives for you too. Mm-hmm. And while we're at it, I need initiative for you guys. You two as well. Mm. Eleven. Oh wait, initiative, right? Yes, yep. one d one d ten added to your base initiative. The only time that you roll one d ten. Fifteen. Always the low guy. Twenty four. What did you roll? Me? Mm. I, I rolled a twenty two. You rolled a 22. Oh, my total, <laughs> my total is 22. Sorry, Jack, what was yours? 24. And Jonah? Mine was 15. Yeah. I would ask if I get an attack of opportunity, but because I wasn't looking up, I probably wouldn't have. Yeah, no. And even I know we don't even looking up, he was actually waiting oh, okay. to see if you guys noticed him. And because you did, he's attacking. Gotcha. And unfortunately, he does go first in this initiative round. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both groups at the same time in order of initiatives. 
So while he's falling at you, meanwhile, to the other group. <laughs> I need you two to roll perception rolls. Seven. Oh, double twos. Not shape. Followed by five. I'm getting more dice. Nine. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I bought new dice, Hell and yeah. now everyone else is rolling crappy. Yes, except for me. Um, Wait, I'm not rolling. Your yeah, I was rolling okay. Okay, so this is my first um, bad roll aside from initial. So you guys, you're like having your little discussion about fetal position versus not fetal position, and versus bears versus, versus mountain lions bears and versus moose. Versus mountain lions and moose, and whether or not moose can climb trees. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and while you're having the discussion, you lose track of the sound. Oh. Um, and as you start to like try to listen for it, you both feel a hand on your shoulders. You feel one on your shoulder, and you feel one on your shoulder. Fantastic, I parry. Um, on your initiative, you can. <laughs> okay, you can roll to try to parry. Go ahead. Uh, Sixteen or better. Meanwhile, I say, this doesn't feel like a bear! Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Barely missed it. So you go like you go to parry it, and you can't move the hand. It doesn't move? It's too strong, too solid. It's almost like you hit a brick wall with your hand, parrying a brick wall from touching you. And you guys hear, no, I'm not, what did you say? This doesn't feel like a bear! No, I'm not a bear. <laughs> Is that Steve? Uh, is, he is he pretty dense when he did it? <laughs> 35 to not piss myself? Yeah, you, you don't. <laughs> wow. Does it sound like Steve? Uh, do I have to roll? You're forgetful, so you'd have to make an a intelligence check to see if you can remember what Nine? he sounded like. Could be. He's like, do I know you too? Steve? Oh, the blind guy. Do you know him? I don't know him. Who's he? Hold on. Was, was that you walking real slow? Yeah. Oh. Are we safe? Probably. I go limp again because I don't Sorry, know. I'm <laughs> dense. Hold on. And you feel the, the, the touch get a little lighter. <laughs> Meanwhile, he falls at you guys. Um, I need your agility... And I need your agility. My agility is five. My agility is six. Okay, that's I don't know why I rolled. My agility <laughs> is a partridge in a pear tree. You were rolling for your agility. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody I, asked you. You're unconscious. Damn fool bait. Maybe yeah, better. <sighs> Got bait in the middle. So he, he falls out of the tree. Bad dice. I don't like you guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we, do we he, need he to have falls a out, dice attack? He falls out of the tree and uh, you know towards you guys, and you guys are able to move as his his claws like pass like about half a foot in front of your eyes, and about another quarter foot in front of your face. He lands, spins, lands in a crouching position, slowly stands up. Well, that was just rude. He's wearing a, a, a metallic helmet. Uh, his eyes are glowing red at this point. Huh. Is this one of those beely old people that I remember? I mean, you guys didn't have any pictures of any of them, so... I did see Whirlwind in person. Yeah, you did see Whirlwind in person, and he does not look like him. Fine, hold on. This guy's yeah, wearing, a, wearing a helmet that covers down to here, wearing nothing here on his mouth and chin. Well, is that an actual human like face, then? Yeah, you, it's, it's a human face down here. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, with some sort of paint on it. Does so his armor look anything know. like the robot? No. no. Nope. Okay. It's just a really sleek metal looking helmet, dull metal, dull metal shoulder pads, um, some sort of body suit. Does he respond to me saying that was completely unnecessary as I left my shot? Nope. All he does is stand up <laughs> and gets a slight smile. Predator, I presume. And how do you know me? By reputation. So, so then you know you're already dead. Well, you know what? Uh, while there's breath, there is hope, and hope springs eternal. Okay. Why are you? Why are you? And I'm out stalling, of, by the way. Out of curiosity, while they're having this conversation, even though it's not my initiative, 
Can I get a shotgun round off? No, on your initiative you can. Ah. Um, <laughs> Bill, it is your initiative. Are you doing anything? Yes, I go limp. Okay. Is he all right? Um, he's what you'd call uh, pasty. Did you say tasty? No. Don't tell the bear I'm tasty. <laughs> he's not a bear. <laughs> Um, he's, he's, uh, <laughs> Are you sure? oh, the preacher has is so much better with words. Uh, he's one of those, uh, he's a pansy. I oh. kind of take offense to that, but I don't want the bear to know. <laughs> You're very scary right now. Very fierce. Rawr. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. I won't hurt you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Steve. Steve, bro. Nice, Thunder. Good nice to, meet, to you. meet you. And he squeezes your hand. Too hard. And too it hard. almost feels like it's about to break, even though he's not barely. He's barely squeezing. He's like, "Oh, I'm sorry." Okay. I don't know my own strength. Uh. So what are you doing out here? Oh, I. We was... gotta be quiet, Steve. There might be little lines of moose out here. No, but there is somebody over there. I, I look Where in is that he general direction. He, he points <laughs> directly across the clearing. But we came here to find our friend. Who's oh, he's, he's right there. He points into the clearing. <laughs> <laughs> so he points in the same direction twice. As far as you can tell, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, as far as he couldn't tell, because he can see. Yes. I can Steve? <laughs> yeah? Is this a trap? Um, yeah. At is, least he's honest. Is there, um... Oh, I'm, but I'm not the trap. Oh, of course he... So you no. said there's somebody over there, and also our friend is over there. Uh huh. That was the squeak. Can you describe what what's going on? Because um, as far as I know, there's our, our friend is. In oh, the so there's a guy it. with an axe and a sword and really sharp fingers, and he's trying to kill your. He tried to kill your friend, but don't worry, I stopped him, and I threw him onto a tree, onto onto like into the clearing to save him. So right now, um, right. a little bit ago. Is it safe to go grab Dustin? I don't know. Do you know what's going on with our other friends? They they walked. Um, you have more friends with you. Mm. you have friends. Do you remember the uh, the preacher who we were gambling with? Um. Yeah. He's here too. Oh. He went uh, that way. <gasps> who else is with? Is your other friend with him? Yes. I could get them if you want me to. Could you bring us to them? Um, you might not be comfortable. Let me ask. ask. Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the fight over there with you guys. Um, so, that was Bill, Jack, and Barnabas. Your turn. And then we'll end with Jonah and start the round all over again. I'll hold my action. <laughs> so, <laughs> I John, considering the fact that I use my action to bleed. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that predator has uh, expressed his uh, intention to kill both of us and his confidence. Yes. I will use alter emotion to instill, uh, <laughs> instill doubt into his, okay. his, his, his plan of action. Okay. Um, you need a seven or better. Seven? That would be seven? a 13. <laughs> This is a short so, so what do you say? I just need to know. Well, Not that it matters. Mr. Predator, I think that your your confidence in your abilities against total unknowns is a bit overstated. Uh, I do believe that you should be surrendering to us. Interesting thought. Right about then, from your pocket, you guys hear, Psst, pulled me out. And that's when you see Predator go. Maybe, maybe you're you're right. Um, I um, 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 yeah. I I'm gonna go. And he starts to jump. You get to shoot him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I call surrendering, sir. <laughs> Ooh. I did make that chicken a little bit on the spicy side. Oh, actually, I enjoyed it. It was really good. No, but uh, I was like, 
A little bit spicier than uh, I thought it was going to be. Oh, okay. I like it, but Uh-oh. more Cajun. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's going to hit. Uh, Holy. So, 44. <laughs> Holy mackerel! This is when we find out that it was neither <laughs> birdshot nor back. buckshot. First time that ever actually shot. It was bear shot. <laughs> high or low? Oh shit! High. Okay. Is it bear shot? Was it a? Was it a magnum? <laughs> it was a magnum. It was a It was a slug. Oh! It was a slug. Oh! oh. <laughs> Lord. John, it was a sabo slug. <laughs> so, um. Do you have uh, weapons master? If not, I need your agility. It'd be, It'd be a skill. Weapons, master. weapons master, yep. What's your rank? Six. What's your agility? Agility is five. Okay. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and yes, seven, weapons master eight, is in rifles. Nine columns. Only what? rifles? <laughs> What's that? What Only is the uh, AR rifle. on your shotgun? Shotgun, pump shotgun is going to be increased range, fatal five. I've not that AR five. AR five. Okay. I've not that you. added anything to it. That just means you can shoot really far, and it's it tends to kill people. <laughs> I figured at just point blank range. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the advantage is he has armor. Maybe had um dull metal <laughs> armor, but yes. <laughs> the other advantage is he now has multiple holes. Or maybe, or maybe he got caught uh, on that um, bare piece of uh, skin. Or a sensitive chin. spot. Sensitive um, <clears throat> so how so, did he kill Belial? So, 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you're probably not aiming to kill him. Am I right? I mean, you're shooting him. He's starting to move. Are you trying to kill him, or are you not trying to kill him? He just These are did. The He's using kill him. a shotgun. He did threaten to kill us, and he also didn't surrender. I'm, I'm aiming to kill him. <laughs> okay, so you're aiming to kill How are you... Describe where you're aiming. So, as he's jumping up, I'm oh, aiming down. just above him. Okay. Pull! <laughs> oh, like a skeet shot? Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> um, so, the, so the bullet rips through the bottom part of his, his helmet. Mm-hmm. Peels it off, blood gushes everywhere, and he hits the ground. Well, that's one down. What now, you can still hear, pull me out. Right? Pull me out of your pocket. You guys see Steve by the pull me out of your pocket. Pull me out of your pocket. Pull me out of your pocket. All right, first, pull out my phone because I did put it away on my. Wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, I do believe that you are Ryan. the problem. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan. I mean, who's Ryan? <laughs> Jonah, Jonah, I do believe this you are the This is why the preacher shouldn't drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were drunk. That's the most egregious, <laughs> egregious and different name that you've given. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Whatever, Joseph. What's in your other part? Okay, you pull out a tiny little mirror, and you hear, meanwhile, Steve goes, okay, grab a hold of me. Uh, you you're still yeah, holding on to us. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> and you guys get pushed into a really small mirror. Meanwhile, on your guys' Hello. side, light Hello. just erupts out of the mirror and something wraps around your fingers on both My sides. My direction or that direction? Away from you. Okay. Something wraps around your fingers holding the mirror in place as two people come flying out of the mirror and landing like three feet away from you. Not three people? Uh, no, just two. Okay. Uh, Steve didn't come with <laughs> You asked if he could take you guys to them. The, so the, he delivered the three you. of us. Well, he, he delivered um, you. <laughs> and then the light dies, and the, the and as it's dying, the the tendrils that wrapped around your fingers just go back into the mirror. Yeah, I'm just holding on to the mirror, just being like, what, what kind of that? So what, what, what happened with us? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, you can put me away. Meanwhile, you guys just, Not so like, <laughs> Steve grabs you and, like, pushes you towards this little thing in his hand. And as he does, you feel compressed. You feel your world shrinking down and, and elongating at the same time. And then suddenly you're snapped back into your regular form and you're falling towards the ground. Make agility rolls. Uh, six for agility. What is your agility? Twelve. Uh, six. Okay, so you actually um, fall flat on your face. And, Twelve. And you do a rolling tumble and stand up. I also roll a, uh, and a 13 to not vomit. 
And uh, when I say you fall flat on your face, you fall flat on your face beside a body. Oh, I look up and see what that body is. Uh, there's a guy in some sort of armor laying face down. 14 on perception. You're like right beside him. John, is he alive? I'll go and check his vitals. I'm still standing still with him. Here. Yes, he's still alive, but bleeding out. Did you see that, John? Massive head damage. That was amazing. So does he land in nice, fresh, warm blood? No. No. John, I'm not going to use my healing, but uh, I will I will attempt to stop the bleeding. Okay. Stabilize him. Uh, what do you use to try to stop the bleeding? Do you have any, like, fabric? Do you rip your shirt? I'm just curious. Well, you do have a hiking suit. <laughs> Drunk preacher man. <laughs> Still standing here with me, or not saying anything, just okay. Out. Uh, since uh, I wasn't uh, working today, I'm probably in a t-shirt. And, yeah. And a jacket, so I will rip part of my t-shirt. And okay, and start trying to yeah put pressure on the mm -hmm. the head wound that takes up a good chunk of the face. Mm -hmm. So the slug hit here <laughs> and ripped the helmet off <laughs> I glanced sort of at went it went into the, the head a little hey, bit idea, and movie? then I turn around <laughs> Agent and I'm Dama, like Agent Dama Agent Dama you need to call Agent uh, Win Dixie okay <laughs> and say that we have we have apprehended predator uh, hey Winfield or bring <laughs> bring <laughs> hey, where are you, are you? <laughs> uh, low what I mean, hi, this is Agent Winfield. How can I help you, Agent Dahmer? I think we just apprehended... Predator. Predator. What? He said what? Uh, yeah, we shot him in the face. <laughs> uh, he did. No, he's still alive. <laughs> oh, 14 he's still on perception? Alive. Yeah, you're hearing. He's still alive. <laughs> oh, he's still alive? Uh, apparently, what happened to him? I'm trying not to... We make shot him in the story. face. He's... Uh, Currently bleeding. I'm stop. I'm stopping the bleeding. We shot him in the face, and somehow he's still alive. Uh, you guys have guns? Well, no, I don't think I issued you a gun. Do you have a gun? Uh, it was he a. Got hit in it the was face a hunting really shotgun. Really hard with a piece of metal. It was a hunting shotgun. Okay. Um. Try to keep him alive. We'll send a team. Okay. Wait. Where are you? <laughs> John, um, we're still in Slocum. Wait, I in have the a woods. cell phone. I'll send you my GPS. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I think we might have an agent there already. Neato. Or someone that's working with us. Okay. On loan. Oh, you... On loan. Oh, God. Yeah. It's so, so you're hearing this. You guys... You're hearing <laughs> this. You guys aren't. On loan from where? Uh, another agency. What agency? Uh, I the think UN. The United Nations. The United Nations. Oh, yeah. my God. Hey, Can we um, get a name? Jonah. I don't want to accidentally shoot him. I think his name is Steve. Hit this person with a big piece of metal really hard by accident by trying to protect us. I doubt you can hurt him. Hey, Steve, we got Predator. I'm still unresponsive. Wait, is he, <laughs> you know what? does he sound like a bear? No. What about like Yogi Bear? He sounds like Yogi Bear, right? No. Is his name Steve? Yeah, 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 that's his name. Yeah. Fucking Yogi Bear is our partner! <laughs> <laughs> so, so Steve's there with you. Oh, he... he Oh, yeah, he helped us. Hold on. I think Barnabas wants to say something. Oh, uh, no. Actually, <laughs> I, I talk into the mirror that, that Jonah is yeah. is just petrified. Okay, yeah. So, so you look at the mirror. It looks like a mirror. He's holding it. And he's like uh, staring at it, eyes Steve, wide. Steve, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. we met up with him. We'll, oh, we'll talk uh, to you later. Uh, we we have <laughs> we have Predator here. We have shot it. Oh, do you need me to come over there? Yeah. Oh, Okay. The mirror erupts with more light as the tendrils come back around <laughs> your fingers, holding it in place, and you see a guy literally just get bigger and step out of the mirror, and he's like 5'10". Long black hair, dull gray skin. How, how many uh, attacks do you know that 30-year-old time? <laughs> <laughs> John, Roll do I hear it? you have a heart attack. 14. Okay, no, you, know, you are successfully clinging to life. As <laughs> you do hear his heart beating incessantly fast, like it might explode. It's compensating for his point. 
Y yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like he shot the guy and now his heart is working for two. <laughs> Steve, I that think you were looking one. for this guy. Oh, yeah, no, I threw him and I couldn't find him. Huh, well, uh, we accidentally shot him in the face. Oh, that's bad. He's still alive. Hmm. Uh, I do yeah, you should keep pushing on that. Oh, well, I think. I am. Uh, that's what they always tell me, but they tell me not to push. Hmm. Okay. Hey, so, correct, because now? you're the one who gets pushed out Ooh, of... What the hell just happened? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> uh, also question. Yes. Uh, is this clearing near one of those coordinates? You have no idea. I know roughly where we walked from. Yeah, question. you have no idea. You got pushed through a mirror, dude. You have no idea Oh, no, I meant are. the clearing. Yeah, you've got no idea at this point. We... You'd have to ask Should one we go of them see to help give you doing? information. Okay. Okay. I'm putting your mirror back in my pocket and just... Oh, well, yeah. Just... Steve um, puts his hand I'm... on your shoulder. Good job. You might want to wear that on a bracelet. Makes it a lot easier. Or on your jacket. That's a nice That's a nice shirt. I think it's safe you now. You. So yeah, why like... don't you... Uh, uh, <laughs> why do don't you bring Dustin A little bit. Here? Well, like, I'm not gonna, like, do I react to him patting me, though? A little bit. It's yeah. like he actually moves you okay. with his patting, which you're not used to. That kind of gets me out of it. Like, what? Uh, so I, uh, I run directly towards Dustin. Okay, so you get up and you run. You hope um, Do you not out of fear? Stop? Just out of just, no. I no. He heard I, no, I mean, to, I mean, I do you stop when you get to him? You're gonna run through him? Oh. I mean, what? <laughs> no, I'm gonna stop. I'm, I'm going <laughs> okay. to to okay. Dustin. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, Dustin. yeah. You, you go straight there. I mean, uh, make an agility roll because the ground is uneven. You might trip. Five or uh, better. 13. Okay, yeah. No, you guys see Bill get up and run, no problem, to Dustin. Well, you hear him run without faltering step. So before he gets away to from Dustin, you, I'm going to be just like, is he running away again? We already finished what we need to do. No, I think finish. he's getting Dustin here so I can, uh, I can maybe well, save his life. If you, if you want, I can apply pressure on the skull and you can go and check on. All right, so. Take my hand, press here. Wait, and push hard, but not too hard. Dustin, Dustin, you awake? Nine. Dustin, make a roll to see if you wake up. Nine, nine for medicine. I'm used to head wounds. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 yeah. Oh, medicine. Oh, you got medicine skill. I don't. Okay, then. Uh, you, you but think I'm it's used good? to being on I mean, a I mean, so, side some, of head wounds. Some, some blood spurts out a little bit as you're trying to push it in. Try to fix you it. Know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Remember our guys' discussion earlier today? Yeah, yeah. What'd yeah. you roll? Yeah. What'd you roll? Double oh, ones. Really? Wow. Yeah, no, no response. He did! <laughs> <laughs> well, bring him over anyways. There's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> uh, I try to lift him. Okay. You can certainly uh, try. Please be like a real cat and be like really light. He is chained. Uh, <laughs> How heavy is your character? Get ready to check right now. What is your strength? I don't think it's enough to break seven? chains. Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty good, but probably not enough to break chains. You have a strength of seven? Well, you know, he just doesn't... 120. What? <laughs> 120. Okay, so, so you go to lift him, and two, two things are amazing. Okay. okay, first off, yeah, he seems light. Oh, so. You're like, you're like, oh yeah, ka -ching. Oh, but he's chained. He's chained! As you as you tug, you can see like it's some sort of metal braided chain r thing that's going around his hands and looped through the roots of this stump. The roots of the stump. And then up to his feet. Huh. Uh, so anybody really have some like bolt cutters or anything? I'm, I'm guessing it's through the skin too. No. I I, I yell and um, I ask if anybody has Steve bolt cutters. Goes, um, why? He's chained to the. Tree. Oh, I can help. And he slowly walks towards you. I can help too. Now run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're running. Okay. And he oh keeps God, up with you. Tell me this is friendly competition. <laughs> tell me this happens forever. Oh, yes. This is definitely friendly competition. <laughs> and you, you see both um, Jonah and Steve come running towards you. I was about to say Bill, and I'm like, no, but Bill's holding. <laughs> can Dustin, you describe so. Steve for for Bill's so, sake? So, so as for as far as Bill goes, uh, for everyone. At Steve. home's sake, Steve. Steve is five foot ten. He has long black hair. He has pale gray skin. He is wearing a t-shirt and jeans, um, and it's a it's a dark brown t-shirt. 
looking. It's, it's dark outside, so it's hard to tell. And dark colored jeans, and he's wearing boots. He is a better dressed Solomon Grande. And he pretty he's much jogging up. Uh, his eyes are dark, so it's you know, in the dark. It's hard to tell. Like you said, it's like running. It's like Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he is extremely fit. I mean, it's like Baywatch. Like <laughs> it looks like he's the guy that's been working out in the gym for at least twenty hours every day. <laughs> extremely, Jonah? yes, a lot more fit than Jonah. He looks built. They come running up. Uh, oh, I can help with that. Oh, thank you, Yogi. And as he reaches down, he's done. Who? Steve? I'm going oh. to gonna real quick, as he says that, push him <laughs> out of the way and just start tugging on the chains. Okay. <laughs> roll a strength, a strength roll. Do I add strength to it? No. 12. 12. And your strength is a 10, right? That's what I thought. Okay, so so you tug on it and you you feel uh, some of the the tree, the roots break away mm-hmm. as you chain, chug on the chain, tug on the chain, chug on the chain, chug, chug on the chain. How do you chug a chain? I don't know how you chug a chain, but you know he did it. So you free the you free right. the uh, the chain from the roots, so you can washer. now carry him. He goes, oh, that's a good idea. I was going to try to pull the chain apart. And that's what I was actually trying to do. Oh, yes. well, good job. <laughs> Well, I'm saying that to you. That's what I was. Oh, okay. Thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But okay. I didn't succeed in that. Yeah. You, you, you're like you yanked on it, and uh-huh. and with your massive strength, you managed to rip it f- through the root, but it's still gotcha. pretty sturdy chain. And I'm just gonna be like, all right, and I got this. So I'm gonna try to pull it over my shoulder. Oh yeah, no problem. Boom. <laughs> right over your shoulder. With a, Do with you a let go? Uh, with a tree trunk. No, no, it, it, like you broke the chain through the root. Oh, I thought I just no. had it. So then so he's not still tree chained. Tree he's day. he's still chained. His hands and feet are still chained together. The chain goes from his hands See, to his feet. Jonah uh, it was looped the through a root. Instead of he broke the, the root. chain. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I let go as soon as I see help coming. I'm okay. not going to keep trying to... Okay, yeah. So so you were holding him, and you're like this, and Jonah comes, Slap! and you hear the, the wood breaking, and he just tosses... Dustin over his shoulder. And then I go over to Bill and toss him over. <laughs> and then he throws you over his shoulder. <laughs> Whee! <just> run back. <laughs> How much damage am I taking for all this shit? Yeah, you know, there's uh, yeah, there's curios- some problems. <laughs> curiosity. Uh, do I forget what direction we came from? <laughs> Hi, hello? Hi. No, no. Like Surprisingly it. enough, you like glance over, you see exactly where they're at. Oh, yeah. well, and Steve's beside you. Oh, we're running again? Okay. <laughs> and now, does so he seem like he's uh, slowing down a little bit for me since I have a little bit of extra weight? Yeah, you know, he's keeping pace with you. Okay. That's that's his. He's right there, step for step. I'm just gonna nudge him a little bit. <laughs> Why'd you do that? You don't need to keep up pace with me. Just go. No, I'm making sure that no one else is here. Usually, there's more than one of these guys. I mean, I have a bad guy on, so there's more. <laughs> As you guys hear, there's, like a, there's usually more than one of these guys. <laughs> to that effect, do I hear anything else? Well, uh, so so you heard them running off. You heard the wood breaking. Um, you get to roll perception and see if you hear anything else. Double twos. Uh, Fourteen. Um, tell you what, I will let you know that when we come back from break. So oh, we're bear with already. us. We're going to go to break real quick, and we'll be back shortly. Goodbye. For now.
Welcome back. Appreciate your guys' patience while we took a quick break and uh, did the things we needed to do. Um, appreciate That's what that. That's we did need to do. Um, just to start out with, uh, um, I thought we'd do a, a quick recap of what everyone looks like. I know we have some new viewers tonight. Um, looks like we may have lost some new viewers tonight. But anyway, we have some new viewers tonight. Um, we lost some? So I would love to, to just go over real quick what everyone looks like, just just so those new viewers. I get you can go to YouTube and you can see that we are on the 12th episode, so there are other episodes you guys can, can watch to get that same information, but I just would like to go around real quick and have the players describe their characters for you real quick. So we're going to start with Quasi and work around to George. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, playing the Reverend Barnabas Lee. Uh, he is... Uh, uh, a preacher man traveling the highways and byways of these United States, spreading the good word. <clears throat> uh, I am playing Bill Sender, which is this going here. I don't know if you can see it. Ooh, hi, I kind of look like an agent. Anyway, so uh, I am uh, always kind of a loner. Bill has spent most of his time alone, hence a loner. Uh, and in the past, he was addicted to whatever he could get his hands on. However, after getting clean, and with the suggestion of a therapist, he went out to find a new group of friends and has feelings uh, of belonging with them. But with no powers, he's still trying to figure out his place in the group. Perfect. The center. Hey, just real quick, what does Barnabas look like? Barnabas? Give a physical uh, description. He looks, uh, uh, he looks like a white male, pale skin, um, blonde hair. Approximate height and build? Um, approximately... Oh, good. Goodness. <laughs> Five, eight, 160 pounds. Okay. And height and build? Er, uh, I think I was 6'2". Uh, average build. Uh, a little bit more on the slender side, not necessarily muscular. Uh, and I think I weighed 162 pounds. Okay. You think? 6'2 with 162 pounds? <clears throat> He's a bean pole. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay, the 200 scrawny. pounds. Okay, uh, Trevor. I am playing uh, Jack Walker, uh, who, if it wasn't apparent yet, is blind um, and blind? Irish. Correct. Uh, wow. I uh, spent a lot of time in the carnival, uh, where I was essentially a sideshow uh, for fighting, uh, where come one, come all, try to make the blind man fall. Um, but uh, you did not. Um, that being said, uh, he's about 5'7", 150 pounds, putting him at, I want to say it was the... Uh, oh, God. Uh, top of featherweight, I think it was. I don't remember. Um, Sounds about right. Somewhere in that area. Uh, and uh, uh, he's got uh, brown hair. Uh, his eyes are whited from having gone blind of natural causes. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I guess he's, he's wiry, but athletic in build. Okay. And, uh, Ryan. He's still from I tried to stall while he was eating. I know. <laughs> so, uh, Jonah Schmidt was born and raised in, uh, Silicon Alabama. Home of the Red Tops. Uh, he pride, his pride and joy is his hometown, as well as the love of his life, unrequited love. His truck. No, unfortunately not his truck. He wishes it was his truck. No. Uh, How does that work? <laughs> Thea, Some things are best left uh, left unexamined. The love of his the, the love of his life, Thea. And part of the reason that he trucks around all the time is because he wasn't able to get her, unfortunately. His best friend, friend of me, if you will, beat him to it. And nicknamed her Sin instead of Thea because that's blasphemy. Um, best friend's name is Jimmy the Deaf. He's a wily motherfucker. Goes around just teasing on Jonah all the time and making fun of him. Just having a good old time of it. Uh, Jonah, though, he is a six foot tall, 210 pound, blonde, uh, blonde haired with green eyed, and bulky. 
Uh, he's also just extremely aggressive and tries to beat the crap out of anyone and anything he sees. Meanwhile, Dust, or, uh, George. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Dustin's unconscious. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> description. So, Dustin is a 5'2 cat man from the cat plane. He weighs about 120 pounds, constantly wearing a green cloak, or green and gray mottled cloak, and he looks like a mountain lion, almost. So does that mean he has a mane or no mane? About how tall again? <laughs> about 5'3". About 5'3", and wiry build, muscular build, what sort of build? Wiry and muscular. Okay, there we go. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and get back into the moment. Um, so, Trevor, you had rolled a perception roll. I did. Um, and um, so what you hear is you do hear the sound of metal and some whirring gears okay. um, coming from a variety of locations, mostly above you guys. Above us? Like, in the trees. So not directly above us. Not, not, not directly above you, but the- above you in the trees around you. Almost like a rain seeding. Creature, is there any way you could ask God for just a little bit of healing to stabilize this man? Well, I, um, we've got company inbound. Really? That's Not the ones we set out Steven with. Steven and, yeah, uh, Steve is, there, all, everyone's, like, they came back to you guys. Hey, Steve. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. What's your mission here? Um, I was sent here by some friends. To do what? Um. He's with us. I can't tell you it's a secret. I see. Well. I thought I already told you that. Was part of it to to apprehend Predator here? Ooh, that's Predator? That's Predator. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, so, one thing. I didn't know that's who that was when I threw him. He points at Dustin's unconscious body on his shoulder. (laughs) So, uh, can you take us to someplace safe? Uh, Sure, if everyone grabs onto me. What? Grab onto him? Oh, onto you. Yes, grab me. I heard under you. He puts one arm out. Okay. This is going to suck. I'm I'm holding on to uh, the other guy currently. So he Predator. grabs your shoulder. Okay. <clears throat> Does everyone else touch him? Yes. Well, you're on my shoulder. Yeah. So where are we going? Um, away. Why are we holding on to you? We're I, going someplace safe. I go like this, like I'm flying. I'm still on your shoulder, but I'm just like getting ready to travel. <laughs> and with his other hand, he pulls out, a, he holds a little mirror. What are you doing, Bill? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and the mirror erupts with light and the tendrils go around his fingers and you guys feel yourself get pulled into it. Hi, or low. Uh, and I'm lucky. Okay. So, um, you guys uh, come out in, uh, in the bus in, oh. the, in your back bedroom area. Oh, this is my bedroom. Um, So you guys feel the whole compression and contraction and elongation as all of you get pulled through um, this this mirror and you guys come out in the same stances that you were in before you went in. I'm going to drop both Dustin and Bill off my shoulders. Just are we on the do we land on the bed? Uh, higher low, low. Yes, you land on the bed. Dustin, you land on the floor. (laughs) Where do I land (laughs) with Predator? Um, you are in the same positions that you guys were in. So oh. you're on the ground holding okay. Predator. And then so I'm, I'm going to lean Steve's down. Ha- Steve has his hand on your shoulder. Steve, uh, ah, yeah. thank you so very much. I think we were about to get bushwhacked uh, before I asked you to take, it, to take us to safety. Oh, oh maybe. I so mean, they, I don't hear, work, they don't work alone. So. I could well, hear yes. uh, things coming for no. us. Well, then, yeah, we were probably in trouble. Ah, so now... Since you were on loan to certain agencies, like maybe the same agency as uh, uh, Agent Dahmer here. He's yes, by the, the way, FBI. My, my name is actually uh, Agent Bill Dahmer. Oh, I thought it was I mean, Bill Sent. Oh, oh, okay. It's an alias. That's fine. That's fine. Jeffrey, oh, Jeffrey oh, your made-up name. 
Yes, got it. my made-up name. Oh. I know people with made-up <sighs> names. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, I know that you are probably uh, needing to take uh, Predator here into custody. So, um, we don't have a way to keep him uh, confined if he wakes up. Well, I could way. do that. He uh, picks up the unconscious body of him and just holds him. I got him. Okay. I'm just going to collapse on the floor by the way and just uh, on my knees and just be like, please God, save my soul, save my soul, save my soul. <laughs> save me from the this, from this sinful things. How did you do that please, thing please, please. with helping us get to our friends and also here? Oh, um, I, we use mirrors. So it's like magic. Oh, no, not at all. Oh, see, Jonah, you're fine. I don't know magic. I know mirrors. Like magic. Mirror. But don't worry, my mirrors are safe, so the one that you have only I can use. Oh, my goodness. But this one, this one's not safe. He points to the mirror that you guys came out of. I, uh, <laughs> Anyone can use this one. I, I come out of, I, I, I'm <laughs> like, thank you. I say thank you, and I and I leave the room so I could change it back into my lounging suit. Okay. So, and get cleaned so up in the shower because you're like got blood all over you. You should probably take Predator to the FBI so they can. Wait, he lock looks like them. he needs help. Like, do, does anyone know how to fix people? Well, I'm holding his skull together Fine. right now. All oh. right. Now that you're holding him. Oh, that one's cocked. Lord. Ten. Please <laughs> show mercy on this undeserving laggard of a villain who's probably murdered more people than 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 I have hairs on my head. I know I know it's not directed at me, but do I feel anything with those words while I'm laying up? Like, you know, uh, yeah, you know, you're you're praying to God and you hear the, the pastor talking and you're you're feeling you're feeling you're feeling Amen. Oh, you know? you know, do I need to make any roll from that being pulled and um don't worry about it. Because right. I'm hoping he's going to heal you next. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, yeah. He uh, he slowly starts coming to and Steve's like, I got you. You're not going anywhere. He's like, oh crap, it's him! Yes, it's me. Hi. All right, hey. <laughs> so, Steve, Steve, do you prefer Steven or Steve? Steve. Steve. Just Steve. Uh, I think right now he is, he is no longer in danger of dying. You should take him to the FBI. Oh, that's right. You're, you're the guy who, who's dense, right? Um, I don't know the F. But hold on, let me just make him unconscious real quick. Okay. And he just squeezes, and you see more muscles rip out, ripple out of like his joints, and he gets even stronger looking. And the the bus sort of sinks a little as he does this. And he just keeps squeezing, and you hear the guy go. Ah! No, and then not. the muscles ripple back to nowhere. And he goes, oh, okay. In that, that case, and he just drops him on the bed don't... beside you. <laughs> or where you or not beside you oh, but he drops, he say, drops I feel like at that point I was like trying to put my one of my pant legs on do I fall into the room again yeah probably okay <laughs> <laughs> half dress yeah <laughs> alright hold on a second <sighs> lord almighty please have mercy on this scalawag of a stray cat that keeps on getting his ass whooped and uh, please have mercy on him despite the fact that he tempts uh, tempts your your wrath every time he goes off alone <laughs> because he's an idiot. That's a nine. <laughs> oh, I shit. mean, he slowly stops bleeding a little bit, but he's still really injured. That's good enough for now. <laughs> <laughs> John, is it in fact good enough for now? Uh, he's still, I mean, he's the, the bleeding is slowing. It's not completely 14? stopped. Um, for Dustin? Yeah, medical evaluation. <laughs> I mean, you're blind. You're putting your hands on him. You still feel a lot of open wounds. His heart is still beating raggedly. And so, he has his breathing he's eased? Kidding. No, not really. His breathing is oh, still pretty ragged. Is, too. It, is, <laughs> is it not good enough? I mean, you're, you're like, ah, I think that's good enough. And you see him going, um, <laughs> touch, touch, touch. I'm just curious. <laughs> would I be able to use maybe some mechanical construction to try to heal him a little bit? Oh, shit. Heal who? Him. Oh, shit. I know, I know it's not medical knowledge. Oh, shit. I'm not at all. No. Not even, not even, Let like, him try. No, no. It's as far as you can tell, his engine is working. <laughs> not at all. No. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it again. Okay. Like, Just don't roll ones. No ones. <laughs> John, this time I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna. <laughs> right on the forehead. Okay, roll. I'd be a tan. 
Okay, so now his his breathing slows down and becomes mellow, you know, even, and it's not ragged anymore. Um, and the wounds, you can feel them slowly closing up. That's about it. <sighs> well, not your bedroom is covered in blood. <laughs> Steve, yeah. Um, if you don't know it about it from the FBI, nope. From then... the project. Oh, oh yeah, I know a couple of those people. Yeah, but so do you. Yeah, I'm here to help. Yes. Uh, oh, you know, uh, you know, Agent Win Dixie. Winfield. Oh yes, I'm here to transfer. Oh, um, then <laughs> you should probably take credit uh, to, to to him. Oh, I don't know where he is. Oh. Uh, do do any of them have uh, one of your um, your set of mirrors that you can transport people? Yes, I make mirrors. To and yes. Um, so I text Winfield. Does any of who have? Um, the 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 project people uh, associated with project oh, uh, with um, um, Winfield. Not that I know of. He didn't ask me for one. So I text Winfield and I say, where do I send a Yogi Bear with Predator? For people who are just joining in, this is just how awkward it is. You could have him come to the headquarters in Langley. Yogi? Yeah? Do you know where uh, the headquarters for the project is in Langley? Oh yeah, I know where that is. You can go there. Okay. Picks up Predator. Sure you don't want to talk to him first? Shakes him. <laughs> <laughs> I got his a puppy! Is, his oh, head no. is bouncing. Boss? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I, I do want to talk to him. Okay. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Eventually, yes. <laughs> his neck just starts <laughs> I'm going to step out of the room and call Winfield myself because he actually gave me his number. Okay. i call correctly. So, uh... This is Winfield, what's... Uh, you didn't even want to roll for it? No, I'm not, I'm not even going to roll for it. Because <laughs> right, he so, just texted from him, so... I mean, uh, so this is, a, this is Jonah. I don't know if you remember me, but... Yeah. Jonah. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Red top, yeah. yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, so, you told me to maybe call you, contact you, you wanted to talk to me. I remember it was about the detective, correct? Yeah, it, don't worry about it. it. It got straightened out. We're good. All right. Do we need to worry about him at all? Um, no... No? Not at this point. He's been read into what we need him to know. Did he go back to New York, or is he still on the hunt for Bill Sender? You know, honestly, we lost track of him. Oh. So you don't know if we need to worry about him. Well, as far as I know, you don't need to worry about him. He said he was going back to New York. He's not... He was no longer in Atlanta. I mean, did you even talk to him? Did you, did yes. You, did he say why he was hunting Bill Sender? Um, he gave us the same lies he gave us before. He also claims he did not shoot anybody in the stairway. And you believe all that? Well, there's only so much we can do. But I mean, you got your agent over here telling, telling you otherwise. There's only so much we can do. <laughs> all right. Well, here's the hope he doesn't try to come after us again. Oh, again. So, yeah, hopefully he doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile. So... Uh, before I talk to uh, Predator, I am going to foster uh, a sensation of cooperation. Okay, so you're... Roll. I'm going to whammy him. Yeah. There you are. Oh, not with a six, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't know if it works or not. You, you like, you, you put that out there. So, uh, Predator, uh, before... He, he looks up at you, his helmet is like crooked because part of it's been peeled it? open. <laughs> it didn't fully fall off. It was just peeled open by the oh. bullet. And so it's the other parts are like wedged a little tighter because of the you know distortion of the metal. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, how, how well is he able to speak right now? Is it pretty good? I mean, I mean yeah. He's, he's, he, he was, you don't know. He hasn't talked yet. <laughs> no, he did. He did. When we were in the no, room. no, no. With Predator Steve. hasn't said anything yet. With Steve, he said, oh my God, this guy. And then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He seemed okay. Yeah. Yeah. Predator, before we say goodbye, can you tell us, uh, just as a professional courtesy, uh, uh, what you know about uh, what's going to happen with Agent Baudry? 
<laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Trevor, roll a perception roll for me real quick. 14. Also, um, when I was holding his face together, Yeah. Uh, when you get a chance, can you describe that for me? Um, what his face looks like? Yes, I will describe it for you in a minute. Um, I also need you to make an intelligence roll. It's more okay. like a memory check intelligence for Mr. Is five. Forgetful Guy. That's a 10. Uh, you and need to roll two dice. Get two. 12. Okay. <coughs> I know, I just got can't on believe, his case about it believe, earlier. Can't believe you did that. Anyway. Um, yeah, you can. So, so the, the voice sounds familiar to you. Like you heard him speak some other time before, um, like maybe in an alleyway. In an alleyway? Yeah, that's it's it's, it's spotty because you're forgetful, but yeah, you've heard his voice before. And it's it's definitely not um, uh, S- Steve, the uh, carnival owner, right? No, correct. Okay. Like, like in the last week or so, you've you've heard this guy at least once, maybe twice. Really hard to say. I have a question for you. What? Do any of us look familiar to you? You all look familiar. I'm dossiers. I'm supposed to kill you all. Dossiers. Why wouldn't you look familiar? Are you following my Instagram? No, not personally. <laughs> you should. I mean, you shouldn't, but, you know, tell your friends. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Sender. I'll get you. We take off his helmet. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. When he says Mr. S- Mr. Sender, <laughs> <laughs> would that jog my yes, memory? Yes, that does jog your memory. Sounds very Oh, you're very the familiar. son of a bitch I should have broken the arm of. What are you talking about? I break his arm. <laughs> Can you? Because isn't he I mean, in the Steve's group? Steve's so... holding him. Nine? Steve's holding him. So, like, you reach up and you grab Steve's arm and say, hey, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I go to... I try again to find his arm. 17. You feel his arm, you feel Steve sort of move him. What are you doing? Oh, I'm going to break his arm. Oh, why are you going to break his arm? Oh, because I should have done it a couple weeks ago. Oh. When he tried to kill us last as a detective from New York operating outside of his jurisdiction trying to apprehend a federal agent. He's a detective? I can't let you hurt him. He's not an actual detective. He's a member of Belial. Oh, well, then I don't know if I should let you hurt him or not. Uh, by the way, why did you call me Sender? Because my name's not Sender. Remember we talked about this before? His name is Agent Dahmer? Yeah. Steve didn't say that. No, 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 the no. Guys. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. I know you're Bill Sender. Who is this Bill, S- Bill Sender guy? <laughs> <laughs> now, you Steve? guys could take the helmet off if you guys now, reach up Steve. and grab it. Are you still getting dressed with what? Uh, I am. I'm assuming I'm going yeah. to from the other yes. room. He's like, no, no, no. no. Hey. He, fell, he fell into the room when Steve got dead. Yes. Well, and then he we got... established that, oh, okay. and then he pulled on right, his right. pants. Now, yeah. now, Steve, I think, uh, I think now's the time that you you take Predator to Langley. Okay, I can do that. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, sucker. Meanwhile, the mirror on the wall gets really bright, and tendrils come no, <laughs> reaching out, out of it we're as we're he steps we're towards we're it, <laughs> and he just you guys see him just compress and. Almost turn liquidy, almost like a mercury as he gets pulled into it, and then it just stops glowing. Ta-da. So I, walk, I walk back into the room. <laughs> <laughs> have, you guys, have you guys ever seen Stargate? Would I have heard his conversation? High or low? Hi. Um, no, you were focusing on this guy's voice, so your hearing was so more like back, that. Go back in the room and notice they're just gone, and like. Where'd they go? And all of a sudden, the. the the, the bus sort of rises <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> Where did they go? Have you ever seen the movie Stargate? No. It's kind of like that. They, um, they, they went to the FBI. How? I was just right out the door. Magic. No, don't, mm. <laughs> No, it's oh. mirrors. Mirrors. Oh, it's okay. Right? Okay. But if it's any constellation... Mm-hmm. Um, Can we break he, that wait, he wouldn't let me break his arm, so Can that's not really a constant. No, because that would be bad luck. No, that'd be out. even, that'd be even more magic. Pull out thunder. Sorry. Jonah, bad. Jonah, swing towards it. Jonah, stop right now. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna petrify him with fear. <laughs> okay. Hold up. Roll. 
Wait, real quick. He did say other people could jump through the mirror. He yeah. does make a really good point. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't... Jonah, Justifying my point to break the mirror, but yeah. That is my mirror. <laughs> we can clean it up. No, you will not break my mirror. That's I think he means we can get Bob to clean it up. That is a disrespect. <laughs> and besides, when's... When's... When's the, the last time before this uh, evening that you saw somebody jump out of a mirror? Uh, this has all just been kind of weird to me, new to me, because I'm starting to believe there's a cop man that you have weird things going on with you. Bill Sanders says he doesn't age for... Are you calling Are you calling the work of God weird? Ish. Anyways, yeah, Bill Sanders says he doesn't remember... It's in the Bible. And then... We're jumping through mirrors. Just because I don't know how old I am doesn't mean anything. We also had a, a girl that has metal wings. Which is weird as well. Well and a blind guy who can kinda kinda see, I guess. So this is this is all just Well I'll tell you much. what. I'm just gonna go in my truck real quick and just uh leave me be for the next few days. Just let oh. me know where we're going and that's it. Well, uh good news. Two of our problems are solved. Predator of uh, Belial is gone, and also um, the uh, the the detective that was uh, hunting down uh, Bill is also gone. No, uh, the agency said he actually got released, and they don't know where he's at. Right, but we do. He's he's back uh, with the agency now. He was Predator. Yeah, I'm going to go in my truck and just, uh, <laughs> this and just uh, let me know if you guys need anything. And just hit me up on the radio and we're good to go. So, good job. You <laughs> shot him really good. So, heading back to the truck. Okay. Heading there, staying there for a few days. And, and I wish I could have. A few days. <laughs> I wish I could have broken his arm. Do I still have? I probably don't have my bourbon anymore. I probably okay. lost it when I had to yeah. get transported through mirrors and yeah. also hold a guy's skull. You should yeah. sanitize the skull with the bourbon. Uh, that could have killed him. I mean, I mean, I think you left the bourbon in the clearing or near the clearing oh, yeah. in the woods. Did it kill Rasheen? I'm just saying. Could you head, head yes, but pouring <laughs> alcohol directly onto a brain might. Right. Yeah, so what do you guys do? It won't well, kill them, but it'll fuck them up. I uh, I head to the shower okay. again. Yeah, you guys, hear the shower water start again. I'm heading. Hey, to the Bob. Truck. <laughs> there might be need for more laundry. Put it in the hamper. Mine's dry clean only. You're paying for it. Put it in the baggies. <laughs> and you're tipping Bob. The the other ones. Now? Nighttime. The preacher's linens. It's uh, getting about 2 a.m. Okay. Oh, I'm going to bed. Do I actually see anything as I'm heading to the truck? Outside? Nothing unusual, no. No? Okay. okay. No, they really had no idea where you guys took off to, so. No, but I knew where my truck was. Yeah, you know where your truck was, yeah. yeah. No problem. Okay. Something like you always knew. Yeah, it's weird. All right, so yeah. I'll, I'll I'll yell out to 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 Jonah as he's leaving. Hey, well, we're starting to head toward Oklahoma City tomorrow. As I said, hit me on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> as you walk out of the bus, Bob hands you a beer. You need this. Is it piss, Watson? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Appreciate you. And I fist bump him a little harder than, than I probably should, but fist, not, not, sorry, not fist bump him. Bump him on the shoulder, but not fist. Wow. Thanks, Bobo. <laughs> Appreciate it. Bobo. <laughs> All right, so. Night passes. No problems. You guys wake up next morning. So they just need to be on the floor in his room? Yep. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> Still chained up. <laughs> and these are the people I call friends. <laughs> what call us friends? <laughs> You're not there. Anyway. <laughs> 
Next morning, you all wake up mm-hmm. to the smell of southern cooking. You don't oh. wake up to the smell of southern cooking. Uh, actually, you all wake up. Wait a minute. Somebody else is making cooking. breakfast? I, I wake up to uh, have maybe 20 beer cans all just opened oh, yeah. and empty next yeah. to me. Yeah. yeah. And you smell eggs and bacon and Wait, grits. And, small breakfast. Yeah, a small breakfast. Small breakfast. You smell it. You, you wake up. You're like in your truck, like halfway to the bed. Right. And I'm just going to be like, Mom? And you, and you look around as you're saying that, and you see, like, a little to-go box. A food? A food on your front seat of your truck. Huh. Um. Any note? Nope. Where'd the box come from? <laughs> <laughs> you're used to it. You're forgetful. Six for perception, because I'm the one who makes breakfast. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, did I make this? <laughs> but you're blind. I am the one who cooks. But you're blind. So as you're like listening around, you hear someone moving around, setting plates up and silverware. Do they sound familiar at all? Um, it takes a few moments for the fog to clear, but it sounds like Bob. Bob, did you cook? Oh yeah, I figured you guys had a long night last night. Thought I'd, uh, Start off the day in our drive with food for you. That's very on. kind of you, Bob. Yeah. I'm going to go on the radio real quick. Bob, was this you? Oh, shit. I got to get that. <laughs> <laughs> he goes walking up. Hey, tell everyone bre- breakfast is ready. <laughs> hey, everyone. Breakfast is ready. <laughs> hey, uh, Jonah. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you'd need something to eat this morning after uh, a rough night last night. Yep. Uh, we're heading out to... Uh, Oklahoma City, so you might want to follow us. All right. Does that mean we're not going to uh, New Orleans? No, we'll get there eventually. I mean, I think so. That's what I understood from Barnabas. Well, you needed your pasties. Pasties? No, you're not here. (laughs) Oh, you mean the beignets. And all of you wake up, by the way. So you wake up on his floor, chained. Not feeling very comfortable, feeling like you slept in an uncomfortable position all night long. <laughs> As one does when they're chained up by me, I see. No, no. And you know I mean, how. cats can get comfortable in so many different ways, though. Yeah, but unfortunately, he didn't. <laughs> More information about you than I need to know. No, not me, Jenna. So you guys all wake up, there's breakfast, <laughs> mm-hmm. you guys feel the bus start God moving. Mm-hmm. And you're underway. Hmm. He's staring at the ceiling on his back. Walk back into my, my room. Oh, yeah, that's right. I go back out. I got a bowl of milk. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Meow, <laughs> am I? I walk back in, How put a I bowl of milk down. Beside him. Oh, I don't drink milk. <laughs> what are, are you lactose, lactose intolerant? intolerant? <laughs> yes, I am. Good lord. Fine, fine. I'm sure there's some cat food somewhere. I'll take that milk, though. <laughs> he, does, he does the whole Undertaker sit up. Uh, mix it with my tea. <laughs> um. If I'm allowed to have it. <laughs> do we Do we have any cat food? Uh, no. There's no cat food on the bus. I got some fire. I remember seeds. seven people. How, how do I get like this? Uh, what do you remember? ran off alone again. You were we captured by Belial? worthless life. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say worthless. <laughs> After all, Did he's, you, uh, he's still alive. Are you walking back to the to where they're having the conversation? Yeah. Because right. you can hear it. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. so you'd hear I, him I, over I, your shoulder. It's, it's not that big of a bus. Yeah. Um... I mean, I, I'd say it wasn't... I, to hop on his feet. I mean, it might be a pretty big bus considering it has a bedroom and a shower in there. So so the chains are this long. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you could hop to your feet, but your hands... And then he rolls back over again. <laughs> I wasn't... Hey, hey, Bob? What? Yeah, I'm driving. Uh, do you know where we have bolt cutters? Uh, yeah, down in the storage compartment. Sort of driving, though. Okay. 
Uh, easy to get out. to. When we stop, can you can you get them for us and uh, unlock the chains of, of uh, Destiny? Here? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, Please. I can do I that. Got a pee. By the way, as we're leaving Silkum, I'm just gonna go. See you later, love my life. <laughs> oh, but uh, I I wouldn't say that he's completely worthless. After all, um, we the first time we got to meet Whirlwind, uh, and the second time Jack. we got to capture. I've uh, had to save his life three times already. Well, right, but we're getting somewhere in the case, aren't Wait, we? three times now? How many lives do you have? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... I mean, is that, is that not for nothing? We, caught, we got one of Belial. We, we got rid of uh, Bill's no, pursuant. No, Jack. You are taking things very literally, and there's a fine tradition of heaping verbal abuse. <laughs> so if you're going to defend the cat, then I would assume that you are willing to take on the verbal abuse due to the cat. Is that the case? I'm just going to say for Are you time. saying that you're going to insult me in his stead? Yeah. Oh, fine. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have this theory that uh, the reason why you have those hand wraps is because your palms are totally furry. And that's how you went blind. Oh, no, it's just I don't want to lose them if I uh, take mm. them off. No, I think you're a serial jack off. Andrew never. Well, I mean, I could take them off, but they take a little bit to get back on, and mm -hmm. if they get moved, I might. That's because they're, they're, they're I won't have totally, them for when I need to punch totally people. Totally crusted with fur. Uh... What is it with you and being against masturbation? I mean, it's a totally natural thing of life. It's a sin against God. If I remember right, that story is actually about this guy not impregnating his uh, his brother's wife. No, 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 no. I've read you the good book. You failed to you realize. You spill your seed except in a one. Yeah, but that was because he refused to impregnate his brother's wife. No. You know what? Religion's fun. <laughs> <laughs> we could have this theological discussion, but I, I fear that we, we might bore some, some, some people eavesdropping on our conversation <laughs> that, that, that might be running... The bathroom. Ah, Jack loses. <laughs> I always do when it comes to these kinds of talks. Do you have middle hey, initial, don't, Jack? Don't be, don't beat yourself off about the. Uh, sorry, don't beat yourself up about this. Is your middle name <laughs> me off? I jumped on it. Why? I didn't even mean to. I'm gonna no, walk away. No, <laughs> <laughs> This stream took a dour turn fast. <laughs> Anyhow. I don't know. Like, uh, it's I guess we carry on this conversation in that sort of vein <laughs> uh, while we're driving to Oklahoma City. But okay. to spare the sensibilities of viewership, uh, maybe we should not uh, get into near the grid detail. Okay, so you guys pass an uneventful, very long drive. And then we get um, to chain to dust. At some point, to I, will, I will City. take the hand wraps off to prove. That I don't have hairy palms. Put them back on, and then take off the other one to show, and go see. Just regular hands. It's just really easy to punch people and not break me own knuckles. If I have the hand wraps on. I uh, see. By the way, I'd like to point out this time around, I'm not trying to compete with Bob. Okay. So I'm just driving behind him, like he has. Because Jonas is a little out right now. Hung over and uh, freaking out stuff a little bit. Doesn't remember exactly why he's freaking out. Something to do with mirrors, but yeah. You have a phobia of mirrors now for the rest of your life. <laughs> you don't know why, but it's pocket. there. And he's got one in his pocket. So it, it does. I mean, you guys, uh, you know, you're driving. You do take a few rest stops on the way there. Um, just pull over and you know stretch your legs, that sort of thing. Let Bob have a cut the chain. Um, stretch his legs, really. You know, yeah. You, you guys oh. do manage to cut the uh, cut Dustin loose of his chains at the first rest stop. Um, okay, so would I be you? able to break him out with an eight? Using the things or hands. no? Okay. Uh, but using the bolt cutters, you guys do get him freed. Um, it takes a little bit, like a good 15-20 minutes. 
um, to actually cut through the metal. Uh, you have to do small snips because it's really, really impressive metal. Um, so you're like, even with bolt cutters, you're working at it. Do the cuffs come off too, or are those left on? Uh, so you weren't in cuffs. It was wrapped around your arms and wrapped around your legs. So yeah. How long was this train? Um, probably uh, all in all, uh, probably could have been ten foot of chain, but it was wrapped up around his body enough. Right. And what was fastening it together to itself? It looks like it was one solid piece that somehow someone had wrapped around and reconnected it to itself. Hmm. Interesting piece of technology, though. Did we only cut it in one place? Yes, you only cut it in one place. Fantastic. I would like to keep this. Okay. If that's okay with everybody else. I don't want it. Bob, I think that's up to who was wearing it. That's, I don't really have a say. I'm just saying. Um, keep I'm going to stretch my legs a bit. <laughs> I'll go with you. <laughs> um, I, when, when we get a chance, I'd like to call Winfield. Okay. So while the one you guys, it's it's going to take, um, normally it's a 13 hour nonstop drive, but you guys are driving, stopping, stopping and whatnot. So it's going to take the better part of another day for you guys to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, so you call Winfield, what do you say? Uh, so hey, uh, what do we find out from uh, Mr. Predator here? Um, we're still interrogating him. He hasn't broken anything? Uh, it said something about you guys are targets. Um, and they're, he's going to make sure that you all die. Uh, did you remove his helmet and stuff? Yes. Was yeah. he who we thought we, he, he was? Uh, yeah, David Boyer. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Interesting uh, that. Yeah. 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 Uh, I wonder how or why. Uh, you know, he was a bad cop, and evidently he was a really bad cop. He yeah. was so bad that he was a terrorist. Could you? I mean, <laughs> did you find out why exactly he hates me, aside from the random stuff he's been saying? Uh, we're working on that. Okay. It's, it's going to be a bit. It's probably going to be a, a few days before we get anything usable out of them. Okay, well. But we do have some of our best people working on it. Tell, tell Gray and Yogi I say hi. And, uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted on what we're doing. Okay, yeah, and just, uh, yeah, keep me keep me informed. Okay. Uh, according to Steve, one of you guys has a mirror? Ah, yes, Jonah. Jonah okay. has a mirror. Okay, so he can, you, if you guys need him, he said you can talk into it? Like a walkie-talkie, I guess. Yeah, I guess. You know, normally I'd be freaked out over this stuff, but I've gotten so numb to this, it's exciting. I mean, I've seen some interesting things, but this whole mirror thing is a little confusing to me. I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a little different. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Glad we're on the same later. page then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, in um, oh. one of these days, yeah, he calls you back. One of these days, we're going to have to actually have you come and, and test for a firearm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, David V doesn't use a train for that, but you know. I mean, yeah. Well, we will. Uh, we will see what we can do. Okay. Um, and maybe even. Anyway, we'll talk later. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of you guys, what do you do for the day that it's going to take you to get there? Well, I was just going to say, uh, at the rest stop or one of the rest stops, mm -hmm. I'm just going to go on the radio real quick just to see if I can get a hold of Jimmy. High or low? Uh, no. No, it's, it's like he's dodging you. All right. Well, I'll text him instead then. Okay. Hey, sorry I missed the, uh, the race. I know I said I was going to come, but got a little tied up and busy. I apologize. Tell Thea I love her. Um, delete that real quick. Uh, <laughs> tell, tell, me, tell Thea I miss her. Delete that too real quick. Uh, tell me I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully I'll see you again sometime soon. But yeah, try to hit me up when you can. Yeah, a few hours later, he responds, missed a great race. Thea just blew everyone, you know, blew everyone out of the out of the race. <laughs> <laughs> it actually blew everyone, and literally it stops. And then it out of the blew race. everyone out of the race. <laughs> it repeats it. It's like, it's like phones where they have to do, like, one message and then the next message. No, 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 no. It's, no, it's kind it's of like, like how you said, like uh, he I love it, her. He did it on purpose. Oh, okay. I miss her. <laughs> as, your, as your character would know. It's like he's being an ass. Um, <laughs> Does Dustin still have his phone? Uh, you, you left everything oh. in the... Um, no, no, you don't see your phone anywhere. Not in his pants, not in his 
jacket? Nope, no, no, it's not in your jacket. And yeah, there's nothing left in any of your pants pockets. Okay. All your drugs are gone. <laughs> drugs? I don't do drugs. <clears throat> that's a lie, and we both know it, but that's fine. <laughs> John. I'll, yeah. I'll uh, make a phone call to Agent Beaudry. Okay, hi, hello? Hello. Lucky. Um, there is no response. It goes straight to her voicemail. Mm, I'll text and her. And she never responded from the text message you sent mm-hmm. last time either. I'll, I'll text her. I saw you on TV. Are you still alive? Question mark. What if she responds? No. <laughs> <laughs> no response immediately comes um, while you guys are traveling. That's fine. The response hours, of no response? Se- or? Se- se- several hours um, pass and you're, there's still no response. Mm-hmm. Um, even when you guys hit the Oklahoma City she limit. Sent me a Oklahoma City says City no limit. response twice? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, so for my leg of the journey, I'm going to be, uh, inspecting the chain that okay. was used. Um, roughly like how thick is it? You said it was like braided. So, so it's, it's an interesting, yeah. So it's, it's a braided chain. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like steel wire that has been smoothed and wrapped into the form of a chain. So it's, there's links, but it's steel wire. I mean, when you're feeling it, you can tell when people look at it, it looks like chain link. It's, it's really fine strands of steel wire that was braided together to make this thing. Would I, would I have heard of anything like this? Not at all. Um, and, and while you're playing around with it, hi, Erlo. Hi. Um, while you're playing around with it, you notice that there's no sign of where you cut it. Like it's back to being yeah. a full circle. Well, again. no, it's not a full circle unless you wrap it. Oh, it's just yeah, not jagged. It's just not jagged where you guys had cut it. It's, that's not jagged anymore. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I can do with this. Oh, you're a gay. Um, Always. I'm a game master. <clears throat> well, while uh, Jack is trying to figure out how to yank his chain. <laughs> <laughs> this was a family reunion show at one time. Was well, it never. Time? It was never family. Well, okay. Yes. Uh huh. Closest we Waste not, want oriented. not. If we're gonna stay in Oklahoma City, and try and find out what happened to Agent Beaudry, um, and besides, this is the the uh, the side of the nostril that mm-hmm. we were. We're, yep. um Might as well uh, find a place to set up and uh, uh, do your preaching. do revivals and stuff. Okay. So you start pulling out maps and stuff and figuring mm-hmm. out where to, where you can go in and start making phone calls to do that. So you set up that. Besides, we need a place to park and to park our, our vehicles without getting uh, our welcome uh, unwelcomed. Yep. So so you set up all of that. You guys get into Oklahoma City, uh, and as you get into the city limits, you, you've already made those arrangements, and mm-hmm. you tell Bob where where to drive to, and he drives you to the site of your next. Which happens to be the fairgrounds, mm-hmm. um, and that's where you Are guys will start setting up. Um, it's um, the chain is about um, three and a half pounds for that for ten, 10 foot. feet. Yeah, for ten feet. So that's pretty light. Yeah. Um, what I'm fiddling around with, it, I'm trying to figure out what I can do with this. Um, <coughs> and figure out any sort of properties I can determine. Yeah, it's, that they it's, might have. I mean, it sounds like when you're moving it, it sounds like a chain being moved, even though you know it's a bunch of fibers woven together to make it a chain. It's it's an interesting thing. Yeah. Part of the time, unusual. I'm looking over his shoulder, seeing what he's doing with it. Yeah, how um, how much of it would it take up if I were to like wrap up? I need my to arms. make a will roll. Um, so ten foot of chain around your arm, it would take up like a, like your whole arm. Well, I mean, how if I just wanted to like do some sort of aesthetic wrap up my arm without actually doing it, how much would I reason? Would so be if used you're doing up? a tight wrap, you could use up the whole thing. If you're doing a loose, weird, jagged thing, you'd still have like probably a good three feet dangling off. So it really depends on how tight you wrap the chain around your arm. I probably wouldn't want it to be like 
like <laughs> like a hand wrap yeah. wrapping yeah. up. It would be you know just kind mm. of like up and down a little, a couple like once or twice or something. Would you roll on you each side? So while you're doing this, you you feel and you hear the chain being batted and knocked around a little bit. What are you doing? <laughs> Can you, as, can you stop you know, trying to... As you, as you see him, like, the, and you see the chain moving, you're like, bat, 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 Because, you know, you're a cat, and it's a chain, it, like a string. And Whoa, but I've seen this, TikTok, this kind of technology nope, before? Nope, never seen it before. Huh. It's new to you, too. <laughs> Trevor gets the sense that he knows what this is, but uh, Jack certainly doesn't. And I also, I'm, there's a chance that I don't know what it is, either. Um, Probably. <laughs> uh, but uh, is there is there like if I think about like trying to separate a length of chain off does anything happen? Nope, nothing seems to happen. And as you're wrapping it, do you actually physically finish wrapping it or are you... no? Okay, so because um, I like I said, I there's a part of me that's like, well, if I can. I need to figure out what I can do with 10 feet of chain. Yeah, right. And how it's supposed to function first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're, you're just fiddling with this chain for the rest of the drive. Because uh, unless you actually try to finish wrapping yeah, it Yeah, over around, cups of tea and, yeah, and yeah. I'm cooking At, at any can. point, do you f like finish wrapping it on something or loop it back onto itself? Or... I, try, I try to avoid that. Okay. Um, yeah, just, just making sure. Well, 12. Yeah, yeah you'd, you'd be to able to, avoid you'd be able to, I mean, although like you're that. blind, you know, you've got good hearing, and so you can hear when the chain link, when it's, where it is as you're putting it on stuff and things like that, so, and good sense of touch, which is why you know it's individual links as opposed, to, or individual fibers as opposed to one solid link. Link. Um, okay, so you guys get to Oklahoma City, you get to the place uh, as you guys pull in. Uh, Bob goes, oh, we're here. Got to start setting up. Everyone get out and start setting up. I'm going to start driving a little bit past. Because I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd see the truck stop, the bus stop. Yeah, yeah, the you were bus. following them. So. Did I see them actually stop at a... Like a yeah, yeah, like like in the fairgrounds oh, okay, themselves. Mind. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can get out and quietly explore the area without going too far from the bus. Bob's like, hey, where are you going? We have to set up. I think Come I know on. what you can do with your, uh, with your 10 feet of rope. Chains. Chains? Yes. You can make a leash for this guy. Would you like to die? It was just a suggestion. <laughs> we could maybe fashion a collar and no. a little bell so we know exactly where you are when you run off. I'm not going more than 10 feet from the bus. Okay. At all? <laughs> Then, sure. the, then the, the leash wouldn't mind. The, the, the leash would be just fine. It's going to be long. Would you like to die? Okay. <laughs> so uh, did we arrive where we're supposed to be? Bob says, oh, crap, i got to get that. He goes running back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're here uh, setting up now. So you need to park the truck, open up the back so we can bring everything out and set up the tent. All right. Can I just toss you the keys so you can open it up? Nope. You know the arrangement. I don't go into your truck. You don't mess up my Send bus. Send the preacher man by, and I'll go ahead and give him the hit. That's up to you. No, I'm just saying, I'll give him the <laughs> Hey, he's, uh, Jonah's camping out. I think he's moping. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go get it. No. Okay, I'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> You're not his employer. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll go to the truck. What seems to be the problem, Jonah? I'm just going to roll it up. Roll it down just a little bit, toss the keys out, and roll back up. <laughs> I can still see him through. Yeah, you yeah. can see him through the glass. <laughs> I'm just looking it's straight forward. Glass window. <laughs> you got line of sight, no problem. Yeah, yeah, he's sitting there. Jonah, are you turning yellow? There is no response. Almost like he can't hear you. Just looking straight forward still, too. You know what? I think I'm going to just give him a shot of courage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you and your courage shot. Oh, these emotions are like, are like cracks. They're like 19. Drugs. 19. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, you feel very courageous. Suddenly, You're all Jonah. Of the, I was actually going to say earlier, too, he doesn't remember exactly why, 
he's wanting to stay in the truck for a few days. Yeah. But he does remember he's wanting to stay in the truck for a few days. Yeah, that, that sense of dread and fear that was sort of making you want to stay in the truck just sort of melts away as newfound courage <laughs> courses through your veins. You're here in Oklahoma City. <laughs> yeah. This is a fine day. <laughs> Still in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, preacher man. I opened up the door. <laughs> Jonah, are you going to do your job? Because, you know, you do accept a paycheck. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's, let's do this. All right, let's go. Okay, so you guys all get out and start setting up the tent. In the interim, I think I figured out what I would like to do with my chains. Oh, what would you like I'm to do? I'm going to. Uh, Chain. It's not plural. I'm going to. Long, long is thing. one of the links big enough that I could fit a finger through it? Hello. Hi. Nope. Not at all. Fantastic. I will uh, instead uh, wrap one of the links into okay. my hand wraps. Okay. Wrap it up my arms, go across the back to the other arm, okay. and into the other hand wrap. Okay. You could definitely do so that. So that hopefully I still have full range of movement, but also it's not looping onto itself. Don't clap. I do need you to make a roll while you do that, just to... Double check and make sure that things don't loop onto itself. Five. Yeah, so you think it works just fine. You got full range of movement. Yeah, it's 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 just looped around your finger, just fine on both. It's looped around my finger. I said I put it into my hand wrap. Yeah, yeah. So so it goes from your hand wrap and around, and around a finger, and then back down through your hand wraps and. Oh, I was just on both hands. I was just gonna have it. <laughs> I was gonna have it not affect my knuckles. I, I know. I wouldn't want. I, I understand, but weapons. you didn't roll that. Good. <laughs> It'll be blind itself. Twice. And you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you, 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 you're like, yeah, I've got, good, I've got good movement. I've got. Oh wait a minute. Wait, oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> well, I have a, t a jump rope now. <laughs> But it's 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 looped nicely over your arms and stuff, so you have to. I mean, it's almost like it's armor of sorts. So as long as it doesn't constrict. In a weird way, it's not you not you got full range of motion. Yeah. Yeah. And if That's I needed to, I guess I could always duck out from underneath it and then start jumping rope. Yeah, to to to, un, to, to, to loosen it up, loosen and it then up. I could use it as a one-time garrote. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you guys set up the uh, tent. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you guys do after you get everything all set up and ready to go? Um, start arranging for flyers. For what? Flyers. flyers? Okay. Well, you'd already had some printed off. Yeah. While you guys were setting up, after you guys get the tent set up, Bob would have taken the flyers. Okay. I'll do the run. And he mm -hmm. goes off and starts passing out flyers. I go with him. No, why don't you stay here? I feel safer with you. Yeah. Right. Last time I went and did this, I got mugged. I, I'd feel safer around the preacher. I can go with you. I can stay with you. Jonah, you and I would kill each other if we went together. I think we'll be okay. You fed me. We're good. And beard me. Bob, are I you... mean, it's, it's up to... It's up to... <laughs> no, do your job. Okay, thank you. Can you say, are, are you worried about being mugged? Not at all. Okay. I always carry an extra hundred dollars for muggers. Do you, do you want to not have to do that? It's the Lord's work. All right, fair enough. I'm not going to argue with you on that. <laughs> if you feel like you need to be protected, I can stay near you. Protected from what? Don't worry about it. I'll check my phone. Anything from Beaudry? No responses from Beaudry. Hmm. Where to now, boss? Well, if you could check with uh, Agent Win, about Winton, uh, Win about uh, okay. about uh, his other agent Beaudry. Okay. See, see if anything uh, uh, needs to be done because we are in Oklahoma City. Okay. People, 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 people. Okay. You, you call. Uh, he actually does answer. Well, you don't have his phone number saved. Hello. <laughs> hey, Winfield, uh, question. Yeah. Have you heard from Agent Beaudry? Uh, no. No, there was a, there was something on the news. She was involved in a firefight, um, and we sent a team uh, to, to check it out. We haven't gotten anything back yet. 
Uh, so a couple of things. We've been trying to get a hold of her. No response. It's been like two days. Yep. Uh, a couple of days, more than that. Yeah, we, we haven't gotten a response from either her or the team we sent to find her. Scary. Uh, secondly, uh, I think uh, I think uh, Predator might know something about it. We asked him <clears throat> about uh, Beaudry, and he's he didn't respond. He knew something, but he didn't respond. So uh, I don't know how interrogation is going, but you, you might want to ask him about it. It's not going good, but it it's going to go better soon. Gray is uh, getting upset. Ooh. Would I overhear his conversation? Yes, because you're you've got that super hyper stupid hearing. I'm not going to make it roll. Would I hear? No, not at all. <laughs> you can't hear crap. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Bill, can you ask him about these chains? He wants to know about the chains. There was chains. There was chains. Yeah. So, do you mind if I talk to him? Do I hear the conversation? Is I don't tell you that I put it on speakerphone. I'm just holding it in front of you. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> uh, so, um, Agent Winfield. Yeah, and at this point, <laughs> everyone can hear him because it's on speaker. What? So, um, oh we uh, when 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 we liberated uh, Dustin from Belial, uh, he he came with a new ten foot chain. No. Um, interesting. It is very interesting because uh, it appears to be made out of uh, braided steel. As far as you can tell, yeah. Braided steel in the form of chain links. Oh, that's unique. And also, now I can't take it off. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Repeat that. That's good. It seems to have. Fused, I'm going to write this down. It seems to have fused to itself. Oh, wow. Well, I don't know about that. He might just be blind. Just I would saying. probably feel oh, that wait, the links the are fused. Oh, is this the blind guy? Yes. This is the blind guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I would feel that it's fused to itself, yeah, yeah, I'm assuming, much. across yeah, my hands. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's... Uh, I don't know if this is magic or some sort of crazy alien shit. Um... Or living chain. Do you know anything of it? Uh, no, I can ask Predator about it once we get him starting to talk. Uh, it's going to take a while, but I think between Gray and Steve, he's his tongue is going to loosen up soon. Let, let him know that the blind guy who literally held his fucking skull together um, wants to know about the chain. Okay, maybe that'll spark some... Cooperation, but I'll, I'll try. We'll see. We'll at see what the, we can do. I mention if Steve generally remembers everything. Got him! Sorry, preacher man. Sorry. Oh, shit. He's eating a piece of food he's got in his bag. Okay. Um, so, is that it? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. Wait, no, okay. I wanted to ask something. What? Uh, what? Just make sure you don't lose him this time, right? Lose who? The same guy you lost before. We let him go, but then we lost tabs on him. You said you This lost time we him. didn't That's let him go because... Thing. Is that all? I just smacked his back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay. Bye, Windmill. <laughs> the one okay. time he says his name right, he's going to correct him and say Windmill. <laughs> Okay, oh, no, so, he intentionally says it wrong. So what, what do you guys do at this point? I'm heading to the Piggly Wiggly. There isn't a Piggly Wiggly. We're in Oklahoma. You're at the fairgrounds. You don't... You Favorite terrain? Piggly Wiggly on the way in. Is there anything else at the fairgrounds besides us? No, you guys are the attraction. What about a hog? Oh, uh, we're the only thing? You are the only thing set up for right now at the fairgrounds. So this isn't my favorite terrain yet? No, not yet. Oh, there is a big tent. You guys just set it up. What are the... Uh... I immediately make a circle. <laughs> <laughs> what are the other closest things? Um, that is a great question. Is there a shopping mall or something? Um, um, you can go buy more seats. Yes! <laughs> oh, crap, it's dead. It's dead, Jim. Um, hold on. Let me see what is around the fairgrounds. While I'm looking this up... Great. Now you're going to make John actually do some Google Foo. You didn't have to. You could just make it up. <laughs> no, no, John's not that imprecise. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh. Mm. So, Bill. Yep. 
anything about that coin that you want to tell us about? Uh, like is it, do you know anything about it? No. Since you've been holding on to it and not been giving it back to me? Yeah, it's a neat coin. Come on, you get all you guys get all the cool stuff. I want to I want to be cool sometime. I mean, I'll trade you my mirror. No, that's coin. cool. But it's much more cool than a than a coin. Then why don't you keep it? Cuz <laughs> of reasons, okay? <laughs> coin. I'll hold on to the mirror, but you can't have the coin. No. I'll get the coin back. Jesus. I'll just walk <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin, how are you? How are you feeling? You feeling a little better, better today? I want some jerky. Uh, okay. Well, I'm I'm googling right now to see if I could find a, uh, a store. It's a very slow Google. I Sorry, apologize. I thought, you, I thought you'd be godling right now. I'm godling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing if there's any uh, stores in the area which I might. Want yeah. To so check it out. looks like uh, there are quite a few uh, shopping centers and stuff nearby. Okay. Nice. We can see it too. Would you say yep. that there is a piggly wiggly then? Um. No. There, there, this is in the uh, the better part of you know, um, Oklahoma City, so you're you're around a lot of malls, a lot of hotels, um, yeah, that sort of thing all around the fairgrounds. I'm gonna run the store real quick. Uh, there might be a, there's probably a, something like a Giant or a Costco or Sam's Club. Yeah, there'd be one of those there too. Yep, barbecue. Excellent. I'm gonna go to Costco. I probably have a Costco card. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't. Because <laughs> it's giant. It's so, why not? I guess me and Dustin go try to find a, uh, a liquor store or something. Okay. Anybody want to go with me? Crazy people. Yeah, we're splitting up the party again. Anybody so. want to go with me to Costco? I think we're going shopping. So, so you, guys, uh, shopping you guys go split up and go shopping. Okay. Well, John, I'm just going to uh, check in with the local area hospitals and, and just ask after any, anybody with Agent Bodger's description. Okay. okay. Um, so, higher low, just real quick. Hi. Okay, so, after your third call, mm -hmm. um, you do, you know, it's a, um, yeah, we do have someone looks, well, she probably looked about like that. Is she is she conscious? Uh no no she's she's unconscious. Uh, do you know or are, are, do you are you family? Uh I'm uh yes I am actually. <laughs> well yeah if you come down we have no identification for her. um she was in really really bad shape. Say no more. Uh let's see these guys have gone off. Um, I guess uh, Uber. Okay. Or the equivalent, uh... Yeah, yeah, you, you Uber over there. <laughs> the, the, the two Uber. of them went to go alcohol shopping. Okay, the two of who? Right? Sorry. Those two? Those those two went oh, no, alcohol I, shopping? I went to go find a place that sells suits. He just wanted beef jerky. He wanted beef jerky. You Which wanted a you could get it. No, I'm going Costco. to Costco. He's going, going to Costco, Costco to get jerky. And they have suits there, too. I wasn't I mean, going to Costco for jerky. Costco. No, I wasn't going to Costco for jerky. I was oh, just going to Costco. Oh, okay, uh, you sorry. can go with him if you want to go I to Costco. I thought you were both going to Costco. I don't know who I'm going with. Honestly, I was okay. just going to go or to the liquor anybody. store. You know, you so guys should all go to to Costco because you can get liquor there. Suits there. You can get there. That suits there. You can get jerky <laughs> there. All right, so everybody's going to Costco except for you then, right? Well, I don't think I need to tag along if you're going with them. You can keep them safe, right? You wouldn't want liquor? I hardly know her. <laughs> okay, if you're going guys, to get liquor... Guys, I think I found Agent Beaudry. She's in bad shape in the hospital. I'm going to go see her. Are you want me to come this? along? Hmm? With the I think this is as you guys are about to leave. Yeah. He tells you guys this. <laughs> Do you want me to come along with you? Uh, if you want to. I know you're not too much on the um, um offensive uh, side. That's uh, your mother welcome to you. All right. So uh, I'm guessing that you have un unhooked the tractor trailer and uh, are taking these guys to, to the Costco. Unless it's close by, because then I'll walk. I mean, it's it's close by, but it's a large fairground. Oh. So you guys would be... Oh. Okay. So you guys all go walking. I mean, we've been and on a bus clothes. for the last, you know... Yeah, yeah getting outside <laughs> and walking is a good feeling. Yeah. John, he's wearing his cloak. 
Not his sweatshirt because it's been torn to sunder. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so all you need a hat is a hat and you want uh, puss in boots. <laughs> Who? Never mind. Maybe you need a, a big floppy hat to go along with the cloak. I don't wear hats. Well, too bad. It's good luck. <laughs> Okay, so you guys uh, go to Costco and go shopping. Um, just figure out what you guys buy. I mean, whatever you guys have cash on hand for, you can buy that much of stuff at Costco. Um, meanwhile, the two of you go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, you do get there. Um, I'm assuming you go to the information desk when you mm -hmm. get there. Uh, yeah, how can I help you? Uh, I am uh, looking for... Um, the patient uh, that was brought in a couple of days um, in very bad shape without any identification. I think it might be a relative of mine. Oh, um, yeah. Um, well, hold on. Let me let me have a doctor come out and talk to you guys. Mm -hmm. A good, you know, 15, 20 minutes later, <laughs> a doctor comes out. Hi, um, Dr. Champ, how's it going? Uh, I'm doing fine, but I think you might be holding on to my cousin. Uh can you give me a description of her just to make sure that we're talking about the same person? I'll, I'll describe Agent Baudry. Okay. Jingle, jangle, jingle, jangle. <laughs> um, interesting company that you keep. Um, anyway, um, yeah, uh, she sounds very similar uh, in probably what she... Uh, yeah, why don't you just come with me real quick and, and tell me if, if you recognize her? All right. And he leads you guys, you know, down the hallway and into, you know, to a room. And you guys are outside the room. He doesn't let you go in. There's a big window you can mm -hmm. look through. And he's, uh, so is that her? And you see on the bed a lady hooked up to machines. There's blankets all the way up. Her face is a mess. I mean, it looks like there's some bandages and there's some, some other stuff, but you can barely make out her face. But you can tell the bandages look like blood soaked, like they need to change them soon. Um, tufts of hair are sticking out through them. Um, we found her with no identification on her. Um, she had multiple bullet wounds, multiple stab wounds. Looked like someone tried peeling her face off her skull. I need to, uh, I need to go in there and s examine her arms. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Give me a mask. Yeah. So he gets you a mask and <clears throat> gets you suited up to go in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has um, has she been awake at all since she's come in? No, not at all. Uh, we've kept her unconscious though on purpose. She needs to heal and thrashing. Conscious people don't don't can't stand the amount of pain that she's in. No, doctor. Would you please come in with me? Of course. Um, if you could wait here, sir. I appreciate it. Um, it's okay, Jack. I'll, I'll handle things. All right. I'll uh, stand guard out here then, I guess. Yeah. Okay, once we're both in yep. the room. <clears throat> uh, I, I'm listening in. I tell the doctor, Doctor, what you're about to see, you do not share with anybody. Hmm? I mean, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Lord Almighty, Please, please grant healing to, 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 oh gosh, did I ever get her, her first name? Agent. <laughs> Agent. Agent Janet. Jan Agent Janet. Oh, Andrew? that's right. That's right. Someone did, you had the file. That's right. So to, yeah, Janet. To, to Janet. I forgot you had that darn file. And yeah, you dossier. Up on it. A dossier, it. Yeah, if you a will. A dossier, if you will. That's right. All right. Darn you. <laughs> Damn you! And, uh, a kill, and a stupid dog too. And I put my hand on the on her arm. Okay. Thirteen. Okay, so uh, so the healing does commence, and he's like, <gasps> you know, the doctor steps back as as you know the the wounds close and all of that. I um, listen to the heartbeats. Oh, uh, I, I mean, he's <laughs> dropping. How's, yeah, of course. How's how's her face? Uh, yeah, you you see, you know, from what you can see through the bandages, you can tell her face is healing up. Um, until it's fully done, takes like about less than ten seconds mm -hmm. for it all to clear. 
Janet. It's one of the he goes, um, wake up. She probably isn't. We've got her on heavy sedatives. Here, let me. And he goes up and like stops the drip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, let me let me give her something that'll mm-hmm. wake her up. Just give me a few moments. Doctor comes rushing out of the room. Nurse, nurse. <laughs> and he flags down a nurse and. You hear the conversation of, I can't believe it, she seems completely healed, and we need to wake her up and go get me in, you know, the, the medicines. and. Does he say what he saw? Or just that she's That's healed? That's exactly what you hear. <laughs> exactly what I said is what you hear. <clears throat> and the nurse rushes off and then comes back, and both the doctor and the nurse go back into the room. <laughs> well, two. And she, uh, she mm-hmm. inserts the medicine to wake her up. And you know she wakes up and she screams. That's the first thing she does. Ah! Oh, oh, oh! Where, 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 Hello, Jack. where am I? Hi. You don't remember me, do you? Uh, uh, no, I do. You are very lucky. For some reason, I don't feel lucky. As she starts looking around the room with one eye, <laughs> with the one eye, because of the way the bandages are. And the nurse starts to take the bandages off at this point. And so she's like, I just don't, I don't feel lucky. Um, uh, you were in very bad shape until I oh, was I know. able to. There was a gunfight. Uh, I got pinned down. Uh, I was able to, to get out of that. And then I got attacked. I'll take the chart off her bed and show it to her. Uh, you know, she, she re- her trembling hands and she takes it and she starts looking. Oh, oh yeah, no, it feels like this is what I went through. <laughs> she, you know, just. So, right now... Uh, it was it, it was an ambush. It was planned. So uh, It's like they knew that I was coming. Yeah. So, we are in Oklahoma City. Me Still. And, okay. Uh, do you want to check in with your superiors? Or do you want to go dark and stay with us for a little bit? I think it's best if I stay with you. Because the only people that knew where I was going was uh, Agent Gray and you guys. And they knew I was coming. So either you guys tipped them off or Agent Gray did. Well, I'm not uh, on the door. Remember, like we were dealing with uh, that uh, Beely. The, the doctor goes, uh, you, you can come in. <laughs> well, I'm actually checking for if, if he wants me to so come in. So maybe we should continue this discussion on the way back. Yeah, um, I'm fine. Can I can I check myself out? And the doctor said, well, we have to run a couple tests to make sure that you're okay. There was all sorts of internal damage. If you can just uh, give us a couple hours, we can we can get you all checked out. All right, so... Don't cousin worry, I'll, Janet, I'll, I'll rush. Cousin Janet, when you're ready, we will take you home. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, cousin. Cousin. <laughs> and... You know, do you guys stay with her while they're doing the tests and whatnot? Okay, Mm -hmm. so the two hours pass. You guys go to Costco and get back. It uh, it takes you about two hours in Costco. Because, you know, it's It's Costco. It's a short trip. Yeah, well, at least two hours. (laughs) I mean, it might be longer. You do have... I've never been here before looking at all of this stuff. So, actually... Four hours later, you guys are going to get done. Oh, I will... (laughs) I will will call... I will call Jonah and say... Okay. Hey, Jonah. Yeah? Uh, we are uh, we are going to be having a guest for a little bit, but she needs. Uh, she. Yeah. Okay. She's <laughs> she's going to need uh, uh, some I don't know sweatpants uh, and uh, a couple of t-shirts. All right. Uh, what size is she? Small. Small. Petite. Right. So yeah, petite. Sorry, whatever that, right. whatever small Swap translates to in woman terms. Oh, is it July? Yeah. Oh, we just had the it, fourth of July. July. Yeah. It's oh. the fifth of July. You can always July. find your congratulations. Yoga pants. You're on. Oh, sorry. You're on the sixth of July. It's some, some, you can always find yoga pants. <laughs> some, pants. No, 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 no. Some uh, some jeans and uh, t-shirts. Jeans and t-shirts. Small mm-hmm. woman. Yep. Gotcha. All right. Hey, you ever find uh, what we were looking for? It was uh, agent, right? Exactly. Oh, okay. I'll make sure to get all that right away. Did uh, 
Barnabas ever share with others that he found the dos the medical dos or the psychiatric um, dossiers? Like, did you um, tell anyone other than the people that owned it? I think is what Trevor's asking. Yeah. Oh. No, he has. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, never mind. That negates my question. So anyway, because I don't think Jack knows she's she released. A nope. Yeah, yeah, so after two hours, she gets released. Um, and it's like, yeah, he's like, it's, I'll it's, make it's eye a, contact with the doctor. It's, it's a, you have a clean bill of health. Um, you are free to go. Um, doctor? We didn't have any, um, we couldn't find, there was no, everything you were wearing was shredded. So we do have some scrubs you can wear to leave the hospital with. We got some extra scrubs. Just don't worry about returning them. Um, just go. Doctor. As he looks at you, just go. In return for your <laughs> silence, here's my card. Okay. You may call me for one favor in return for your silence. Okay. Um, yeah, so have a good day, you mm -hmm. three. Do you want someone to escort you guys down to the door? Do you have a gift shop? Entrance. Jeez. Yes. Main floor lobby. Uh, what kind of a hospital has a gift shop? All hospitals have a gift shop. Why? What would you buy? Gifts. Teddy bears. Oh, that makes Flowers, sense. Flowers. Balloons. Books. Candles. Oh, yeah. I, I, okay. Cards. Books. Cards. Um. <laughs> yeah, doctor. books. Um. Uh, uh, I forgot. Can we... Uh, impose upon you for for an ambulance ride to the fairgrounds? Uh, the ambulance companies are not handled by the hospital. They're an independent okay. thing. Uber so it is. I, I, I wish I could. I could call you a cab. How far oh. of, it of a walk is it? Uh, it's quite a ways. I mean, you could just ask, call Bob and ask him to come get you. Oh, you might be still shopping. He's not shopping. Bob. No, Bob is putting oh, Bob, flyers yeah. up. Bob would be driving the bus. Or probably not. But he'd probably be taking Uber or something because he's passing out flyers and trying to drum up business. So he'd have walked uh -huh. and then been doing all of that for you guys. Uh, okay. Well, whichever is more sense, Bob or Uber? Uber probably make more Uber. sense. Uber roll. Okay, so... We will not talk in the Uber because... Cameras. Driver. Cameras. Cameras and driver. It's so good once to we see get, you again. But once we get back to... Uh, it's, it's so great to see you too. Oh, wait, I thought you couldn't see. I can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it feels like it's been so long. But at the same time, it feels like it was only a week ago. Right. It's, it's, it's been crazy. So you guys get back to the fairgrounds. You guys mm -hmm. get done shopping and come back to the fairgrounds. He bought a barbecue while he was out, too. You guys load everything into his truck, including the barbecue. <laughs> you bought a barbecue? Yep. <gasps> Wait. Okay. You said they were doing shopping, right? Yeah. Yep. Can you... Call Bill. I could. Why would I do such a thing? Well, I would like to get some tea. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well. And some other cooking supplies since I've been making breakfasts and lunches and dinners. And now that we have somebody else, I'm going to be needing to uh, cook for more. Oh, uh. Why don't you just talk to Bob when... Because uh, when the last time I talked to Bob, he got me that other stuff that wasn't really tea. Speaking of was it Bob that uh, did that? Yes. Bob got him the only tea that the Piggly Wiggly had. Uh, <laughs> I'll, the wiggly piggly. I'll call up Bill. Hello? Hey, Bill. Uh, Barnabas? Yes. Well, uh, it's, it's Jack using Barnabas's phone. You're very welcome, Jack. Thank you. Am I on speaker? I don't know. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah, it sounds like you are. Fred. What's up? So you guys are doing shopping, right? And there's food there? Yes. Uh, that, yeah, that's what Costco is. 
Great. Um, could you pick me up some Earl Grey tea? Yeah, I I guess. Sure. As Earl, well Earl, as Earl Grey. Earl Grey. That is correct. Earl Grey. Grey. Grey tea. Earl Grey. Grey tea. Grey it's tea. it's pretty. It's probably the only one with grey in the name. Gotcha. T T T T T. Am I am I near him by chance? <laughs> I yeah, think I mean, I yeah, you guys are all like with each other. Yeah. He wants you to get girl gray tea. What is that? It's Earl some kind of gray tea. tea. Earl, Earl gray. Tea. Okay, I got you, boo. Okay, and uh, any other um, kind of foods and and supplies for cooking that you think I've might be necessary? All right, gotcha. Uh, I do I do a lot of that, and it's 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 easiest if a table to be made. Oh, can on you the get some plate. sweet rolls? Some sweet rolls. Done. I really like sweet rolls. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tea. Earl Grey. Earl Grey specifically. Cooking things. <laughs> and uh, there was a something else, right? Sweet rolls. Sweet rolls. Sweet. I think you wanted girl Grey tea, though, right? Girl rolls. We'll figure it out. Okay, I'll Earl, see you later. Earl Grey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was also going to call up Bob. Okay. Uh, and ask him. What? Right, yeah. Huh? What's going on? <laughs> hey, Bob, uh, how much room in your fridge do you have? Why? So I can buy some stuff. What are you buying? Lots of stuff. No, I have no room for lots of stuff. You don't have any room for anything. I didn't say that. What okay. are you buying? <laughs> well, that's why I'm asking. How much room do you have? How much stuff are you buying? Depends on how much room you have. Uh, I got about a little bit of room. <laughs> okay. Bill. Would you say maybe like a good, decent sized meal for all of us amount? Oh, of... yeah, yeah, probably two. Yeah, two? Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's also the refrigerated area in the storage. We can put some stuff in. Storage. As in the. Truck. Under the bus, yeah. No. Um, true, but. We have a, refri- a refrigerated section. I'm going to keep that for piss bus. I'm just saying. Uh, I Jeez. hope there is a freezer down there too. That's all just piss boss. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I only keep piss boss. Yeah, in, in your truck, I'm talking about this is for the bus. Yeah, no, I'm saying for my truck, I only keep piss boss in there. Yes, that's fine. This is I'm talking about the bus. Yeah, we got, we, got, we got some room. All right. So I'll go ahead and get and say maybe like enough for food for a chicken pot pie. Never had one of those. It should be interesting. Uh, chicken pot pie. Maybe some. Uh, so he guesses at the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some. He gets uh, a pot. He gets a chicken. He gets some pie crust. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some. Uh, There's a little more to it than that. Now, now, Ryan. Yeah. Out of character. You are telling somebody to shop for food while you're walking through Costco. Well, I'm telling him what I'm getting, so that yeah. way I know for sure oh, how much so, so, space so, so, I have. So, so yeah, okay. Is he... <laughs> you know, you can just buy some frozen chicken pot pies. I know. Yeah, he, he's like, yeah, no, we'll have room. We'll have room. Okay. I gotta go. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. So soon, uh, tomorrow night, it's going to be at the fairgrounds revival. Save yourself. Here you go. Chicken pot pie, and let's do some uh, <laughs> a few microwave dinners. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Right, Hold on. Bye. 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 I hope you have a big enough freezer. I'm buying a lot of meat. Uh, phone was hung up by that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need all that meat for? To eat. I mean, you don't need to freeze it. You're a cat. <clears throat> Sometimes I want to hurt you very badly. So, did we make it back? Yeah, to you guys thing? make it back. Do we make it back? You guys make it back. You guys get done buying whatever it is you guys bought. Oh, I have a bunch of stuff for you. First of all, I bought you a Kugrig uh, coffee machine. Figure it'll make it feel a little easier. A what? Uh, you know, the, the ones with the pods. And then I, I got some coffee pods and tea pods, although I stupidly opened the box and mixed it together, so you're going to have to figure out which one's tea, which one's coffee. Uh, cooking stuff. I got you George, George Foreman Grill. Got you a waffle maker. And a popcorn, <laughs> popcorn, popcorn machine, uh, and some plastic forks, and I got you some sweet rolls. Wait, who asked for sweet rolls? I did. I was oh, with you, you, you moron. 
<laughs> this is Agent Beaudry standing there. Hey! In Hi! Agent Beaudry! Hi! How's it going? Evidently better than it was a few hours ago. But hey, look at that. You're live. I am, and I feel okay. Did you not feel okay before? <laughs> I don't know. I was unconscious. Would somebody oh. help me figure out what kinds of teas these are? Nobody tell them. <laughs> okay. It's a fun game. <laughs> Hey, can, I, can I tell by touch? I whisper in his ear. Coffee on. cups. I mean, they're little. Uh, double cake. tens. Hey, Jadama, you are some of a bitch. Uh, Twenty-four. No. <laughs> yeah. So, so you're. You guys see him like just start running his hands over the top of these pods. He goes, "Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Columbia." And that's and he just starts sorting them out. Are any of them Earl Grey. Uh, hi, Earl. Hi. Yes, you get two. <laughs> I set them aside in a private stash. <laughs> he pockets them and walks off, and then he comes back. Jack. Yes? He hands you a bag. Of? Oh. You know what it is. Bull testicles. No. <laughs> Anyway. Do I know what it is? <laughs> I don't know. What do you do with the bag? I don't know what's it feel like inside. What, what kind of bag is it? Paper bag. Paper, 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 he hands does it feel paper like, bag. Does it feel like it's like got boxes? Yes, open tea bags? What are we talking about here? Small boxes in there. I touch the boxes. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you requested. Ten. Yeah. If you feel the letters Earl Grey down the side. Hold on. I walk off again. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't have my phone on speaker. Oh, but I kept repeating. Yeah, okay. you kept repeating out loud. Right. <laughs> That's why I was saying, girl, Gray, are you sure? <laughs> right there next to you. I, and I still thought you said sweet rolls. <laughs> Both of you talk very loud. Uh, anyway. So I'm, gonna, I'm also going to hand Beaudry a pile of clothes and say, this, this is for you. Oh, thank you. She sets the sweet rolls down. I'll be, is there a place to change here? the bus. Okay, thanks. I do want to point out it's uh, Oh, sure. Sweatpants. She gets to change oh, in the bus. Oh, I, I have to jeans. change I know, I know outside asked, of the bus. Jeans, but you first asked for sweatpants. Okay, so, so sweatpants, sweatpants and, <laughs> and t-shirt. T-shirts. Okay. She comes back out in sweatpants and t-shirt. Mm. Um, you guys wouldn't happen to have shoes, would you? <laughs> She's wearing um, like the little oh. hospital slip-on Sorry, I, shoes. I forgot. We can make a we can we Extra can make a shoe run. High or low? Low. Uh, I don't think these will fit. Bob gave me back. some extra shoes the other day. Should I just go back to How the... tall is your character? Uh five seven, but they also weren't my shoes and I don't know <laughs> whose they were. Should I just I... know that I'm not gonna wear them. Should I just go back <laughs> to Costco real quick and get some shoes? Uh I'll go with you. Okay. What size? In in a minute, in though, I think we need to. I think he wants to talk to us. Okay. So, uh, you want to go? I I trust uh, Agent Gray, um, but there was a there was a period when our electronics were being monitored by Belial. Oh. Okay. So, I was probably aware they learned your whereabouts. So what what can you tell me? What's happened? Uh well. We met uh, Rowan, and we met Predator. No, we, wow. met, uh, we apprehended Predator. Wow? Double wow? I shot him in the face. Yeah, he did. And that did what? Almost killed him. Tore off his jaw, practically. Triple wow? Yeah. I rolled a forty-four. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I used a forty-four <laughs> rifle. Wait a minute. Shotgun. Shotgun. Preacher man asked me what I had, and I just said yes. Forty-four <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm I'm really impressed. You guys have done amazing. So, anyways, oh, uh, we figured out the money laundering team uh, that was uh, doing uh, uh, cash movement for Belial in Slocum, Alabama. Okay. Uh, oh, and we found the. Uh, well, I guess it was related to. Uh, the death of that one. Yeah, the 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 random uh, death in uh, in Atlanta, the apartment shoot. Yeah, was it random? No, no. it was uh, it was cousin. that family in in Slocum. They were related, and they had life insurance on the poor girl. Can't trust anybody, even family, it seems. So anyway, 
No, you can't. <laughs> it was just the father. No, the kid didn't have anything. Well, evidently, I found people here that are deadly and want to kill me. Um, yeah. Join the club. Oh, Can I went, you describe them at all? Uh, it started out with I was checking to see where the next target might be. I was in a parking garage getting into my car. And people started shooting, my car got destroyed, and I barely made it out of there alive after shooting several of them. Um, what intel? That, that was like about an hour and a half worth of shooting at people and trying to survive. That's and then, down. And then I, I fled, and I managed to get over a couple buildings, and I got stabbed. And that's the last thing I remember, but according to my charts, I got skinned. Sorry, you got stabbed while you were flying? And I got over a couple buildings. John, she was on foot. Thinking about on this uh, whole matter, is Agent Baudry the the actual Belial victim? What do you mean? Remember, she was trying to prevent a. a I mean, a, she. I mean, it, if she would have died, maybe. Uh, was she intended <laughs> to be the the the, the actual? Was victim she in the target? nostril. And it, it, it's it's a definitely a possibility. You'd have to get. What do a, more research and hunting to find out, but yeah. What, I mean, it's, it's a good guess. What intel were you following up on that made you think that Oklahoma was going to be the next start? Well, we talked about that. I forget. It's all right. Um, so we thought that it might be here because it's a big city and it's within the nostril section of their symbol on the map. And so I started poking around and just trying to figure out if there's been any murders. Oh, I was working with some of the law enforcement. We have to face the uh, possibility that... Given that they were eavesdropping on us, you might have been the intended murder victim. So how, when was the last you guys heard from me? About two days ago. We didn't hear from you. We saw you on the news. When, in the shootout. When was that? Two days ago. Mm-hmm. They would have sent another team to find me. They did. That's protocol. Did they? What happened to them? Oh. They haven't the, heard it back. What, the FBI team? There's more people. We have to. We have to go find them. No, we don't. Well, we can't. We do. do. We can't. We, we can don't leave it. any of our people behind. Do you want to stay? Um, do you want to stay off the grid, or do you want to? I, I to don't see. I have a choice. We have to find them. Give us descriptions. And the, well, they'll probably send another team to find me, and that's putting more people in trouble. They already oh. did. Just one mm-hmm. team. They haven't, uh, your, your, your but, rescue but team But that means they're going to be in. sending another team if the rescue team doesn't say So they're going to be sending more people into danger. I, I've, I've, got to, I've got to call. Can I use someone's phone? I don't seem to have one. Why don't you use Bill Sender's phone? Uh, <laughs> or Agent Dama. Uh, we'll, uh, we're calling Wil- Whitmore? Yeah. People, 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 people. Winfield, thank you. Whitmore? Yes. Sorry, the uh, preacher Wait. never calls him the right name, so sometimes it rubs off onto uh, Agent Dahmer. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, yes. Yes, Wynn, I'm here. Oh, do both yes. voices, please. Do both voices. Um, <laughs> are you trying to listen in? Of course. Then roll. I'm going to make you roll for this one so I have to do voices or not. Double tens. Damn you. <laughs> you can choose to whatever you want. Followed by 11. Okay. <laughs> so, by 11, 31. you mean two ones on a... Du- on no, a- I oh, mean eight darn. and three. Oh, damn. So, 31. <laughs> yes, hi, Wynn. This is, this is Agent Beaudry. Oh, about time. I'm glad that you survived. We, we sent two other people to find you. Have you. Do you know about them? No, no. Do you know... Who did you send? <laughs> Are you going to have to make up some names now, John? Uh, I'm going to have to find some names. So, am I close enough to be able to hear all this? Uh, no. It doesn't matter. No, she would have stepped, doing both voices. She my, stepped away. My day is made. <laughs> Bird's still alive. And you're having, <laughs> and you're having them have to work otherwise, too. So you're, right. You're doing even more. Than so while all this is going on, he's setting up the barbecue. Okay. Outside or inside of the bus? Oh, really from, from Hairball, Girl in Grey Tea is the name of my Vagiant cover of that. What is Vagiant? V-A-G-I-A-N-T. Why ask me? Why ask me? I'm doing stuff. Vagiant? <laughs> Vagiant. It's probably the name of I don't know. It's probably uh, pronounced Vagiant. Definitely not pronounced 
for the day. Wow. If I learned anything from the band Pussifer, it's probably pronounced Vagiant. Can you just respond again? Yep, band name. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't answer your question. I said it's probably the name of Ben, and he said he Ben. <laughs> will, it, give it some time. He has to hear the rest of the conversation before he can True. get back to us. But anyways. Oh my god. Oh, no. Is it pronounced vagiant? I don't know, but I found Urban Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Please Type share. in the word band afterwards. No, also. <laughs> oh, let me. Just, okay. Just so, type in the um, word <clears throat> band. Ugh. You're insufferable. So we we sent a incorrigible. We sent a couple of people we we got on loan. Um, so we sent. A, did you actually hit on the Urban Dictionary one? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Sorry. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we sent a couple people we had on loan. Um, we sent uh, Agent Cross and Agent Price to come find you. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. And I, I think I know what they look like. It's been a while since I've done any missions or, or any uh, assignments with them. So okay. Um, I we will go. We will go look for them. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they are okay. Thank you. Click. Uh, here, thanks for letting me use your phone. Of course. Thank you. The voices in my head randomly said that, um, yes, it is pronounced the giant. Also, they're a new band. They renamed to Tijuana Sweetheart. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I don't know if that's relevant at all, but it's not at all. But we're something okay. that occurred in my mind. Okay, great. Um, Mine. so yeah, so, um, yeah, so those are, um, so they've sent two people. Um, Great. Two Do you know what their names to, are? Uh, yes. Um, so they sent Jasmine Cross. Um, she's really talented with a sword. And thankfully they sent her because she might not be able to die. And, um, and Nichelle Price. Two ladies. Yeah. Um, I've, I've worked with them once or twice before. Can you describe them? I I don't know. So um so Nichelle is about five six, long black hair, kind of slight build, busty. Okay. Um, blue eyes. Okay. Okay. What does this busty mean? She's got boobs. Just two of them, not six of them. Yes, that. I'm going to eat your face tonight. Is Agent Beaudry busty? Don't. But I thought no. you don't eat wrong. She's enough. she's not she's not overly busty. She's got an athletic build and decent sized but, cups. But oh. um <laughs> But you're saying that uh cross or price or prices busty. Yes. Yes. But similar build. Yeah. Um and, and Jasmine Cross, she's uh she's Asian. Long black hair, uh, likes to wear tight clothes, has a katana, likes to cut people. So we're looking for, uh, do you know how tall she is roughly? Uh, about 5'7"-ish, I think. So we're looking for two women with long black hair that are about the same height. Carrying swords. One is carrying a sword in spandex. Uh, no, I don't know if it's spandex. It, it might be armored. <laughs> armored spandex. Um... <coughs> is she also busty? No, not really. She's she's very slight built. With a slight build. And the other one is also about the same height, same build as this agent, but she's got a uh, larger chest and doesn't carry a sword. Yeah, that's what I said. Fantastic. Thank you for recapping. I'm just making sure. So I know Two people who look pretty okay. similar aside from skin color. Earthquake! Sorry. Experienced an earthquake and part of the, uh, I mean, it was their camera, not yours. I don't know yeah, you're moving fine. to, to yeah. see if it was in position. Now, do you actually know, uh, do you remember where your firefight was? We can maybe go investigate. Uh, yeah, it might, hopefully the car is still there. I mean, they started shooting, but yeah, I could, uh, we could probably find it. I was, outside, any... I was outside of City Hall, so it shouldn't be too hard. 
Were there any weird things that might have happened and unexplained things? People were shooting me. I shot a lot of bullets. I ran out of bullets. I had to take guns from the people who were shooting me yeah, I mean, after like, I shot them dead I mean, like, and really, shot back. Really strange things. Not strange like bullets, but stranger. Got stabbed in the back, and evidently I was flayed alive. Do you know what yeah, any of your attackers who survived look like? Uh, all of the, all of the, um, they look like gangbangers. I mean, the people that I was shooting, exchanging bullets with in the, in the parking garage, they, they looked like thugs, like street people. What's a gangbanger? Uh, a thug guy. The, gang the gu- Yeah, gang members. Some men, some women. Did you, uh. Did you even talk to anyone when you came to town, or was it literally just you getting out of your car? Look it up on the internet. I, I, she said she was doing something. I, I, I investigation. talked to the police, went to the, you know, just touching bases, checking on old files, old murders. I just left City Hall with a big packet of them, which evidently was in the car. Any of those uh, police that you talked to seem suspicious? Oh, no. No, I didn't talk. Okay, when I say I talked to the police, I talked to their the administrative people at ah. the police station. Any of them seem suspicious? No more suspicious than a librarian. Okay, just making sure. Do you have an overdue library book? No. Okay, just making sure. Just checking. Can you even read? Ish. <laughs> I can. I graduated high school. Okay. I well, didn't. I got a. Yeah, I graduated high school. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, I could, I could. So what time of day is it? Uh, it is, you guys set up the tent, look around four, it's about five o'clock at night, 5 p.m. I'm sparking up the fire. Hmm? Barbecue pit. Hmm. You guys look over at the bus, there's a barbecue pit, there's some wood, see the cat playing with the fire. He didn't answer if he was actually putting the barbecue pit inside or outside the bus. Uh, I'm assuming outside the bus. Not everybody is actually a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> true. True. He does some dumb things, but that doesn't mean... So what do we want to do now? Eat. I mean, other than after after we eat, of course, I'm starving. Oh, well, we probably need to go we back can, and uh, re-get those documents. We can probably swing by uh, and see if your car's... Uh, still there or if it's been taken somewhere. I mean, it might have been impounded. Mm-hmm. It's it's a crime scene two days. I mean, I don't know how, I don't so know how they're going to deal with it. There were a lot of cars. You that have an hour. The meat will be ready. How then. do you uh, get some new credentials? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, can I borrow your phone again? Is there a station office in Oklahoma City? Uh, there is... Um, but I've got a. I mean, I could go. We could just go by it. We'll just go by the FBI field office, and I'll get some credentials there. Mm-hmm. We have an hour. We'll think we'll be ready then. We'll probably have to. And I need to get shoes. So tell you what, I'll just go. Um, can I have? Can, I, I hate to ask, but I don't have. Here's a C note. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Considering what you just went through, I'd feel safer if one of us goes with you. Preferably not me. No offense. I'm just. Weak. You're just not. Same. Bill. Go. You know, I would feel hey. best if you went with me. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. I'll 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 go as well to accompany you if that's all right. Okay, great. Wait, are we gonna go shop for your shoes first? That's what I was gonna go do is go shop for my I shoes. I was and... gonna go with you. I guess all of you guys could go with me. <laughs> it's okay. You stay here with me. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. And... <laughs> 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 you, you can taste cash, bro. We need a responsible adult. Mm-hmm. I apologize. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah. I was writing down in the book. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, great. So um, we're going to end the night with you guys going with her to shop for shoes and swing by the field office to get credentials. Maybe and get her some jeans, too. I overhear everything I can. Okay. And uh, you guys are cooking the food, and that's where we're going to end the night. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for playing. Both, uh, one, both conversation and also just like what? keeping us safe. Okay. Um, so uh, thank you guys again for watching. Thanks, Endearing Films, for letting us use your space, our space, whatever space this is. Um, thanks, Chuck. Um, thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Epic Worlds and Games. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Um, for, uh, for doing everything you do. And please keep doing what you do. And one of these days, you will be on one of our streams, I promise. 
Um, <laughs> he was on Tuesdays, but you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, and uh, we will. Um, for Ice Ales, thank you. So, them, yeah. yeah uh, for For Ice Ales. <laughs> and also, uh, if you are free on Thursday nights around 8.30 Pacific Time. Uh, right? Yeah, Pacific Time. Uh, check out this channel. We will be playing board games on Fortune Favors the Board. And don't forget we have our new Patreon that is set up that you can check out at patreon.com slash hohpresents and our YouTube channel. Um, I think bunch of gobble good letters that you can find out that may be linked from Patreon. If it's not, it will be. Um, and you can go to our Facebook, HOH Presents, on page, Facebook, and that will, or in the About section, is our thing. search for R4D uh, S2 O... Or S2... S O two E one that should also be able to help you find it. <laughs> it's really convoluted. Lots of con lots of, so go to our Facebook, click the uh, about us section, click the link. That'll get you to our YouTube. Like the page, subscribe to us on I'm YouTube. I'm exhausted. Um, that way we can that way you can find the content and moving forward we will do our best to make that easier to find. <coughs> Thank you guys again. Um, if you That's do subscribe um, or or uh, or get with us on Patreon just know that any money that we raise is going to make the stream better and make the studio better and make it so we don't have convoluted ways to get to our stuff. So Hi. thank you again for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you Sunday. <laughs>